We are live. Let's get this party started. We're nearly ended. I, th there's definitely no way that we're going to finish Chrono Trigger tonight, but we have the uh, Masamune upgrade quest to do. We still have the Geno Dome to visit. We can still go through the Black Omen three times, and we need to get 11 cats, so... Plenty to do tonight on Chrono Trigger. How you doing, Zombie Kitty? The thumbnail is legendary. Thank you, thank you. I thought it was appropriate. How you doing, the dog? Thank you. Thank you, Ninja Ninja. How you doing? Thank you for the lard and the Chrono Lard emoji. JPA, how are you? Reworked Random, I'm here. How you doing, Seth? What's going on? So let's go back to the Middle Ages here. Put our froggy friend into the party. I forget why we took him out to start with. Oh, because we just got the rainbow for uh, Chrono, which is his best weapon in the SNES version. We'll just rock this stuff now. We also have a prism helm for him, so. Doing alright, demons with horns. Hope you're finally starting to feel better. Hey, Sir Kurtoff, how you doing? Could use some nostalgia. You've definitely come to the right place. We're doing some end game shenanigans here. Let's do... I actually forget if you have to go to 600 or 1,000 first. Let's start at 1,000. This is like a town you don't have access to until you get the Epoch. So let's go there. We've done most everything else, so... Yeah, not a chance we'll get through this tonight. We got a Easter weekend fast approaching. Yeah, this whole place here. Mayor's Manor, the inn, residence. My husband's never around. Is my bit rate bit rating again? Yeah, it is. Gonna show him who's boss next time, pow, right in the kisser. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a carpenter just like daddy. Is he at the, the old watering hole? I think that might be daddy. Bring me some more soda. Sir, I think you've had enough sugar today. Pipe down, I'll tell you when I've had enough. Can't you see I love soda pop? <coughs> oh my goodness. That was a lot of a sneeze right there, excuse me. Fiction of grandeur, how you doing? A yeah, rainbow sounds like the name of a bow. One made out of uh, rainwater, specifically. How you doing, Anthony Jordan? Thank you for the lard. 99.8, I mean, it's going down. Oh, 11.6, or 100.6, well, keep... Hope it keeps going down for you, you know, regulate that temperature. That's a long time to be heating up. Yeah, the reward for Marl's quest. We also got the rainbow specs, which I don't have on anybody right yet. Oh, you've never played past the prison, Kurtoff. Oh, what's the matter, JPA? What happened? Hey, Scott X, how you doing? Yeah, Black Omen commentary too nice. Yeah, tomorrow is Good Friday, the day Chrono died, exactly. No allegories there at all. But yeah, okay, so Toma doesn't have any special commentary if you just go ahead and get the rainbow first, it would seem. But I mean, there's always, uh, always time to pick this up and play it for the first time. You so desire. We went to the residence. No, we didn't go to the mayor's house yet. Eventually we have to pour soda on a gravestone, I believe. It's an old structure to the north. It's been in ruins for ages. I think it's the fifth day or something. Yeah, that's brutal. But surely you gotta be around, uh, coming around the mend. Ghosts lurk in the ruins. I'd stay away from the ruins. The structural- They say some brain-dead ghost hangs out in the ruins to the north. The black omen sparkles in the sun. Tomorrow should be clear, too. The anguish of tormented spirits has created a negative energy that surrounds the ruins. Well, let's go see these ruins, then. Oh, you got a kidney stone. Good lord. Are you gonna have to get it blasted, or do you just have to wait for that sucker to pass? That's brutal. The great adventurer Toma Levine rests here. Three, six, six, thirty-four. 
Chrono's ultimate weapon being the reward for Marl's quest. Yeah, it's kind of romantic. I think that's why they got to, you know, betrothed. Northern Ruins. Ah, yes. Grr. I didn't realize that you could even just... Like, I know you can't fight them, per se, or, like, nothing happens. Can I steal from them, though? Just the same. How you doing, KJ? I'm pretty sure I can't do anything to this buff. I'm relatively confident of that. I think you gotta run away. I can't run away. Well, am I just dead then? <laughs> Should I have not gotten into this battle? I might be in trouble though. Can I frog squash? I did not get the tab behind Toma's grave. Yeah, waiting for it to pass for now. Okay. Hope the medicine works for you. Really can't run from this fight. Maybe eventually it'll just be like, it's no use. Why can't you do stuff to him? Normally you have to... I'm not actually sure why. Okay. My sword hath no effect. Len. Cyrus, tis me, Glenn. What? Glenn? Grr. Yeah, normally I don't do this. So now you go back to 600, but... Yeah, for some reason he's, like, impervious to pain. That was, uh, Frog's old, like, mentor. Older brother type figure. And this is sort of where he hangs out, but you can... You can fix those ruins and... Oh yeah, I gotta get the tab. But yeah, I'm not sure why you can't actually do anything to him in death. Hey, a speed tab. Hey, Bob, thank you. Hair is so slow. Yeah. Yeah, I've never... Knock on wood, haven't had a kidney stone yet, but from what I hear, it's nothing... Nothing to joke about. It's not like they're smooth. W, I will not do that. Ah, but thank you. Thank you, Sans quote. What am I doing? Well, let's feed the speed tab to Ayla. All the Wayla here. We have some power tabs to also use. I'll give them to Frog. <coughs> Blew out the back of your mountain, the tire in your back, on your mountain bike today. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. Thank you, Zayad Kurtoff. Thank you for being a member for 22 months, my dude, as a speedy supporter, yeah. Almost two years coming up. Hell yeah, my man. Thank you so much, Kurtoff. Appreciate it. Juan Sebastian, how you doing? Thank you for the emoji, JPA. Speedy is over on his cat tree thing over here. He's just chilling over. Right over there. He's doing his cat duties on his new tree. He may come over for a visit later. Did I ever? Yeah, the power tabs. I've been giving them to Frog because, like, Ayla and Chrono will just be naturally buff eventually anyway, so this feels like less of a waste on him. Yeah, Pingus, we're playing Chrono Trigger tonight. Good way through it. Let's go back in time. 400 years in the past. I think he likes the tree. Yeah, it's been a good purchase. He uses it all the time. Uh, W, no. I will not do that. Oh, the debut of Gary Buster Holmes Spike Clubs. Oh, it was a Yakuza 2 thing. So it's been around for a while, though. I'm assuming that Chitose Buster Holmes is a... Like, actually an infinite wealth thing. Yeah, we're getting pretty near to the end, the dog. We won't be beating this tonight, but we'll be taking a big chunk out of the side content I want to do. Because you can do the final dungeon three times over if you go through it in the right 
order. And I want to do the... Something eerie about the northern ruins. Do I need to stay at the inn? Nah, well, I mean, maybe a little, but... It's fine. Minigame in Kiwami, too. Oh, Majima Construction. Like a tower defense game. Or Condor type of thing. That's neat. So, Mega, you beat me to the rainbow shell. Yeah, okay. Nah, I'm not sour about it. Probably couldn't have handled the monsters. But I will find the Sunstone first. I hate to break it to you, but... I did that, too. Come on in. I will. My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. Oh, now I go back to the future? Probably. So my useless husband won't use his tools so you can have them. Yeah, this is the house. Yeah. And we were just here. I forget if we have to actually enter the ruins, but we'll just... We'll just zip back and forth 400 years like it's no big thing. No, I haven't beaten uh, Rebirth yet, Kurtoff. I have a very love-hate relationship with it. I don't mind playing, like, doing the open world stuff if I'm not streaming. I just find there's, like, a lot to it, and having to be focused up for a stream at the same time, sometimes I get overwhelmed. But yeah, sometimes I get pretty frustrated streaming. Okay, now maybe we go to the... Ah, uh, we just got the dune buggy, though. I haven't had a chance to play it off-stream again. I'm still pretty invested in the story, but... You know, limping through it one step at a time. And yeah, my useless husband won't use his tools so you can have them. Yeah. But I have a feeling the story might end in a divorce. Do I do any outdoor biking or sports? I used to wrestle. I don't bike ever. Want to borrow my tools? Be my guest. I'm busy here. Get them from my wife. I mean, I guess he does give them, uh, give you permission. What is tools? Oh, they're right here. And I never want to see them again. Oh, come on, Bitrate. Exploit crashed already? You have to be kidding me. Okay, hang on a second. I'll be back in, like, two minutes. I think I'm back. I might be. We got one tools. I never used to have this problem with XSplit. It only just started, like, three days ago. I mean, it's happened before, but, like, not this regularly. Like, I'll be streaming, and then, like, I notice the broadcaster has frozen. But, like, sometimes I'll be live, sometimes I won't be, but... Kind of necessitates a reset. Yeah, remember to only examine the chest, yeah, in the past. Yeah, but don't take it for better... Yeah. But don't take it, right. Gotta check the... Ch gotta check the chest, say no. Uh, then go to the present, so you get the good stuff. I'm back. Good. Excellent. Because I wasn't for a bit there. I was not actually back. Uh, but now it appears as though I might be. Here's your tools. Well, I gotta go to the pub again. To the cafe, I mean. Got tools there, will you lend them to a buddy? Sure. Your family heirloom tools. Thanks a lot, now I can get to work. I bet they're the same tools 400 years in the future. Thanks for lending me those tools, now I can finally get to work. I guess I'll start with the ruins. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. I love how they all just live upstairs. Split and rent. Yeah, they, up yeah, they update and break stuff occasionally. I did have to do a variety of updates, like Windows updates and otherwise. Capture card updates. Everything's been updating, so... It's probably gonna take a bit for everything to shake out. 
We're done for now. We can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them. We'll do the rest. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. I'm gonna go outside and save it, because... There's usually some skeleton grouping in this area that I forget how to fight. And I expect that to happen this playthrough as well. Um... I don't know, go anywhere at all. These, I think, I think these guys are like more problematic than they look at first glance. Never mind. Maybe if you don't have Luminaire, I don't know. That was not a problem. A fire too kills almost everything here. That makes sense. No, that seemed to work okay, so I'll do that some more. I must have gotten here and not gotten Luminaire or something. Could have swore it was here, but maybe it's in the the future ruins, I forget. Well it didn't didn't die that time. It was different that time. Oh, okay. Oh, I've been pro procrastinating to work on stuff. Motivate me. I mean, I'll try. <laughs> oh, hi, brother. Do you respond more to, like... Because I know some people get more motivated when, like, you insult them. Rather than encourage them. But no, I kind of hear you with that myself, like, I've been trying to... ...find more motivation to do things, and it just... ...I've been kind of struggling. Anto, Anto... Welcome to the chat, how are you? I mean, hopefully, whatever it is you're doing, you'll, uh... Once you get going with it, you'll... You know, start feeling good about it. Like, sometimes I don't want to stream, but then I make myself stream, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, it's, this is fine. Usually good to go. How you doing, Joe Denino? Oh, yeah, I got to... Yeah, WrestleMania's almost here. That's, what, next week, I think? Next week, then? Yeah, these dumpy MFers, yeah, and their MP Buster Revenge makes them one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Yeah, I like having my MP, it's just like, insult to injury. Alistor, how you doing? Salutations. Got a client in town and had to switch to Night Shift, ah. Screwed your whole routine up, that'll do it. Been very unproductive. That'll take you a while to get adjusted. Yeah, getting that circadian rhythm all out of whack and uh, no small, you know, no small feet. My name is Baby K. Welcome back. How you doing? Yeah, can't wait to see. Yeah, the rock back in the room. It's a tag match, isn't it? I've been sort of following what's going on, but I'm a little out of the loop. But yeah, it's probably weird to say because I stream all night, but like, I really didn't used to like working like night shifts. Doing alright, baby cook. So you just gotta go back and forth in the castles here from time period to time period. I think we're good now. Then we can. Get more stuff fixed here. Continue on. I forget if you actually have to go to the future for any of those. We'll do it as little as possibly. <clears throat> 2000 G, what a ripoff. Come on, you lazy blokes. Why am I standing on top of him? I guess I just was the whole time. 
Get the difference of streaming. Yeah, playing games, chatting with an audience from the comfort of your... Yeah. <clears throat> well, like, I could turn the stream off right now and it's like, you know, whatever. Like, that would ultimately be my choice. As opposed to, like, oh, I have six more hours on my shift. I gotta try to stay awake. Hey, thank you for the like. Thank you for the lard, Saint. We're done for now. Ooh, Speedy's coming over. He might be... Might be passing by. He might be doing a drive-by to have some more dinner. Yeah, he's eyeballing his dish. See the hunger in your eyes, buddy. Look at you. Okay, he didn't recover over here yet. At least the undead enemies stay... dead. Undead? They're gone. Iris, the fool that challenged Magus rests here. Yeah, cats are always hungry, too. I hath returned. I shall honor my province. Promise to thee. I will show you my sword. That I attempted to slay Magus with. Who would carve that into someone's tombstone? Glenn, thank you for making the journey here. Dear Kairos, thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, I thought of all of those whom I had left behind. What's going on, bandits best? King Guardia, Queen Lean, and of course you. Come on out of where? Am I back in dropped framesville? Your skill and dedication is superior. You can rest now knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait. I... I... No, come back. I think he's not blocking the front entryway of 1000 AD now. The Queen, look after, lean. Alas and farewell, Glenn. Yeah, that's a wild thing to tie carve into a tombstone, all of them. Oh, it's a Honeymooners reference. Episode with Harvey. I'm gonna mute... I'm gonna mute the stream for a second.
those of you that don't hear that, how? Holy fuck. Hi, everybody. My brain hurts. I forget what the deal is with this treasure, I'll just grab it. I got a moon armor. It's like one of the best armors in the game, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm def 10 to boot. Now I'm buffering. Fire alarm went off for like 10 minutes. Now we're buffering. How's it going, big chunky man? Whoever else wandered in here. How often is that? It varies. Hasn't happened in a while. Well, I mean, it happened, like, maybe a couple weeks ago, but before that, it's been a while. Painfully loud. We got a Shiva Edge, which is just trash, because we have the rainbow. And Valkyrie, I forget what that even is, probably for Marl. But yeah, that was, uh, loud. I muted it instead of making you listen to that, but, like... Maybe I should've. Maybe I should've shared the misery. I don't know. Her ultimate bow. Yeah, don't you know this game off the back of your hand? I don't know it as well as I should, to be honest.
I got that tab. There's another tab somewhere. I'll do another... Uh, do another loop around here. Oh, there. I just saw it. Hey. Yeah, doing alright, Master Chef. Yeah, how you doing, Sean? Yeah, where's my tab? Well, they have it at the cafe. Well, that's the end, but in 600, it's a cafe. So yeah, let's go grab that Nova Armor. I forget. I think you can get Nova Armor from one of the enemies off the Black Omen. I think you can steal it. Not the Moon Armor, but the Nova Armor. I need to go back to 600. I remember this quest line being way more involved. It's actually pretty quick. Speedy's... Poor Speedy's terrified. He's like, what did I do to deserve this? I got a... Space-time paradox elixir. Nova armor, which I think is still pretty decent. It protects status, yeah, sure. Instead of mostly fire resiliency. Speedy. I'm so sorry, buddy. Got a cat on me. Mostly just a cat tail. Standing on me in a weird way. Yeah, from Goons, that's right. The yellow guys in the shorts, I think. How you doing, Brandon De Leon? Another great stream, what's up? Gotta stop each time you're playing this. Hell yeah, thank you, Brandon. We just finished... We're just in the process of finishing this... This area where Frog upgrades is Masamune. We're just running back, getting the pendant chests after having powered them up in 1000 AD. But yeah, I got the moon armor fiction of grandeur. Got that as well. Yeah, I got a kitty cat on my lap now. All cozied up. But yeah, like, you're not sleeping through that alarm, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, I think we're effectively done. Now we can go to the future. To the Genodome. Let's do another saving of the game. Then I guess we can get started on some Black Omening. Fox71, how you doing? Hey, thank you for the speedy chocobo chrono emoji master chef with the beard. Ooh, that's convenient. Oh, this place wound up being the Geno Dome. Interesting. Well, I mean, we're gonna need Robo for this, so Frog... I guess you're staying home, brother. Or otherwise pretty solid. Does Nova Armor have any, you know, protect status? Sure. And Robo needs to be in the front, I believe. Or does he? Well, yeah. How you doing, Azenius? Doing alright myself? Welcome home, R66Y, or should I say Prometheus. You dare to defile this place with humans? Haven't seen them in ages. Let me welcome them. Come closer. Yeah, it's like, why is the Geno Dome not an actual dome? Yeah, considering there's other places that are domes. Yeah, it's not like they didn't have the in-game assets. It might just be a weird translation thing. Like, I don't know if it's called a, actually called a dome in Japanese. Like, it very well could be. We'll see what you can do. Yeah, this is a 
This is a place you can grind. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, Gino, yeah, cat food factory, exactly. Gino from Mario RPG. What's going on, Frisk? Welcome back. Yeah, Gino Dome, yeah, is similar to the Soylent system in Solaris. Let me learn some things. Just have Chrono spam Luminar. Until tomorrow at 5 p.m. Ah, oh, right on. Goes to school. Two males of each color if I charm the right bosses. Yeah, we did get an extra white male and a black male. We've got a few of them. But yeah, I have like a plus three speed thing on Robo. He's still like dirt slow. But I mean, he's a good candidate to feed a bunch of speed tabs. So you can steal so many speed tabs in the Black Omen. You can't do it three times over, unfortunately, but it's... You don't really need to. Yeah, extra white mail. Yeah, yeah. Steward it. What's going on, Steward? They can use time travel to duplicate upgrade items, yes. Suggesting, right, suggesting you create an alternate universe each time you use it. Then quests have linear time progression. Yeah, Lean dies, Marley, Marl dies. Yeah, it's like, I'm gonna... What just happened there? We got some glitch text. See that? Something dropped, and I don't know what, but it was like garbled text. What's going on, Butterboy? But yeah, you get the moon armor, but then go back and get the Nova armor. It's like, I shouldn't have the moon armor anymore, though. wonder if that was ever planned, but they just... It was too troublesome to implement. Not bad for humans. I guess that's one of the best spots to grind in the game, that conveyor belt. What do I... What did I just get? Is that the very bottom? Like, was it even a get? I don't know, then. We had a... We had a few uh, open spots here. I don't know what it could have possibly been. Katito, how you doing? Wanted boozy fade, but got this instead. YouTube's still just pushing me out to you. Being very aggressive about it. What's going on, Sanity? Power tab. I sure Robo can have it. Chrono can have the magic tab. It would actually kind of behoove me to do this a few times. Enter the dust shoot, yes. At least level Robo up a bit. I don't know what level Robo needs to be here, but like... Some level. Time travel would just strictly be a bad idea. Yeah. It would either be everything's happened because of the time travel that occurred, or otherwise, like... Just alternate universes, or everything would just get ruined because of time paradox. So what kind of experience are we get in here? I mean, that's 900 right there. That was quick like bunny. Maybe, no. I was gonna say give Chrono something to make him faster, but I don't want him to lose his MP. Just to make sure he's faster than Ayla. Damn it. I mean, I get what you're saying. I don't use a lot of the characters, but. After a new game plus or two, you'll have 
everything for everybody if you really want. Maybe the reason my life sucks is because I already tried time traveling. I made a paradox. I mean, possibly. Be unfortunate, too. It would, it would be all your own fault still. How you doing, Jay? Thank you for the lard. I mean, yeah, I guess we're getting like 10,000 experience per go around. Probably a faster way to kill everything, but this is fairly consistent. It's Chrono's favorite platform, Gro Google Chromo. Because Halo is level 48, which you got in there. Like, I mean, does, does everyone get a level per go through? I can't imagine that'll sustain itself. Yeah, 13,000. I'll pay attention to that this next time around. We'll get Halo to level 50, then we'll move on. 13,000. Yeah, like, I need to at least put some sunglasses on and make an emoji that way. You're right, Kurt, huh? That can be done. Luminaries actually is the most efficient. Like, it is all robots, so I assume they're weak to electricity. If Square Games taught me anything, it's that robots are weak to electric. More so than water. Yeah, like, Ultima, basically. Like, uh, not as good as Ultima, but like, but basically. Elemental Ultima. Element. Some, uh, there's something there. Hey, Zan, how you doing? I would assume so. We do have the gold stud on to make it more, uh... <clears throat> I mean, we are starting to get low on MP, but... 5 per blast rather than 20 per blast. I mean, all it costs is a shelter, I guess. It's more sense than spikes being insta-kill for Mega Man. Yeah, I don't know why... Yeah, I don't know why I want spikes being an insta-kill for a robot to make sense as badly as I do, huh? I mean, I like them in theory, how it's like, instead of a pit, if you have, like, iframes, you can save yourself for a second. Like, yeah, these spikes are gonna penetrate this robot. Hey, doing alright, Zanta. So we're at 13,000, so yeah. Yeah, close to 10, like 9,000, over 9,000. Hydra Oda, welcome back, how you doing? Let's proceed. Let's look around a bit first, because I forget. I did say penetrate. Good. Doing good. I think our mighty number nine made a little more sense. The purple energy. Yeah. Well, yeah, like some sort of like plasma-y thing. Or even falling into like lava. It's like, okay, well, the robot would melt or whatever. The lava was truly hot. Welcome back, Brian. Falls from space. The hell of a landing. You're stuck.
I do that. There, we're good. In full tonic. Peter can give his dad about the Genodome. What shall we examine first? This doesn't really matter, it just... Yeah. Then you just do one of these, I thought. Excuse me? I don't have to put the other robot there, do I? Guess I just didn't get all the way in. 50,000 G. Should be more excited about the. Okay, I don't even want to go up the elevator just yet. Oh, the lap has triggered the alarm. Well, we need the experience anyway, I guess. It's fine. We still have a Specchio to beat. To show what for. We just run backwards up here. Pretty sure I have to reverse the course of the conveyor belt before we can make the... Yeah, and then, like, this happens. Norstein Beckler music. Get. <laughs> have you ever considered timeshares? Chrono Trigger timeshares? I like the sound of that. Only 50,000 G to get it now. Sounds like a hell of a deal. I'll DM you the Chromer later. The Bit Chromer. I mean, I guess use a shelter. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. Did you still want to fight? Why? I don't know. Asking me. I don't remember this room at all. There's a few sneaky tabs in this game. The ones I take the most umbrage with are the ones that have, like... You know, like the one in the Blackbird. Yeah, there we go. Like the one you can't even see in the Blackbird till you find all of everyone's equipment. It's like, why does it work like that? That one in particular. Oh, there was another, another one. So there was one, and then another, another one. There we go. Well, we'll retrace our steps, though. I think we can do that. Yeah. Robo kind of gets, like, adhered to the wall in a certain way. I guess it's just how his running animation works. Feels like he glues to the wall. So I missed another another, huh? In the path to that switch I just hit. Oh. Okay. Did 
now that we've got the laser down, we can get it no problem. I don't think we can fight here yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can, but... Let's go over here anyway. I think there's enemies to clear out. Might as well. Listen well, humans. Lavos's children will one day have to leave to seek new planets and pray. This world could sustain them if humans were not around. These robots will create a new order. A nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you, so stop your foolish struggle and succ succumb to the sleep of eternity. Hey, AXTD, how you doing tonight? Sorry, I missed the last stream, but love you, man. Keep it up. Hey, will do. Enjoy the stream tonight. Just go ahead, flatten the stuff now while we're over here. Then we'll go back at that other tab. We need to get those two dolls or whatever anyway, so... I love how there's so much cash here. So yeah, they're making tabs out of people. Uh, spoiler alert. You know, just a blood-curdling scream. You know, no big deal. Yeah, this is the Geno Dome, bro. Yeah, the robot should just remove yeah, all the air from the dome. I mean, really, though. Bought it. I mean, I guess if you're over here, as soon as you get in, you can see how they get converted into tabs. However that works, whatever purpose that serves. So the tabs here, at the very least, are people. I assume all tabs are not necessarily people. Unless that's how Zeal did it. They just didn't tell you that part. Over yonder. Yeah. That's a very, very, very sneaky one. Alright, so now that we have the conveyor belts moving the other way, we should be able to make it. Well, if I go to the right one, predominantly, there we go. I don't believe you can make it otherwise. Yeah, I made it. Made it that time. Oh yeah, and then the, the robot that you also got to charge up, I believe. Maybe you don't, you might just have to get him to follow you. Good old escort missions, even Chrono Trigger has one. Oh, come here. No, no. Come here. No. Maybe I do want to do this. Now. Okay, never mind, though. That's fine. Thought it might make it easier for my new friend, that's all. Excuse me. Stop it. I'm not sure I want to get into a battle right now. If it'll reset this dude's location or what happens. in my mind like I thought you maybe it's just here hey Brendan McHugh thank you for gifting a mega heart membership my dude appreciate it Hope everything's going well in McHugh land thank you so much my dude ever gone through periods of procrastinating if so what's your strategy yeah, give me some hope yeah I'm being super lazy and have a ton of stuff to do yeah, it's kind of a tough one. It's just sort of like comes and goes for me. 
I mean, like with YouTube, when I want to procrastinate, I can usually, like, dig down and get something done with it. But, like, it's definitely a very real struggle. Just gotta remember, like, you know, it depends what it is you gotta do. Like, it might just be a thing that, um... Like, once you get going, you'll want to do it. Just remind yourself that, you know, if you don't do this thing, maybe you'll be forced to do something else you want to do even less. Thank you for the lired, speedy butt lired chrono emoji, Nutsworth. Game Studio. I never have played Pizza Tower. I've had a lot of requests for it lately, though. And Brendan McHugh with another $2 super chat. Hell yeah, my dude. With the one up hippo. Thank you so much. Getting one up of extra life here. Life is lired and love. Hey, thank you so much, Brendan. Appreciate it, my man. what the deal with all this is. No, he's back and discolored. Oh, we did it. Okay, well, let's go back and do I need the other buddy to do that? Maybe I don't. And that's just like a thing that I misunderstand always. Yeah. I get the one Zoyo doll. JRPG inspired, how you doing? Yeah, is that, yeah, I gotta do my taxes too, still. This might be a good weekend to do them, actually. Long weekend. I have an idea, how about I go the correct way? That should help. No, in theory. Why am I having such a struggle? I guess I got to go back up. I do have to go back up the conveyor belt. Yeah, because I had to take him back down the conveyor belt before. What am I going through? Jeez, man. All right. Make a list of things it needs done. To break up the different jobs up into more bite-sized tasks. I mean, they say you can't, you know, it's how you eat an elephant one bite at a time. Yeah, IRS, when you miss a single cent of tasks, yeah, taxes, luminary. Dark matter. Check the location of the first doll after picking up the second doll. All right. Come on now. Come on off of it now. There we go. Playing a mobile game called Pika Phone where you play as a detective looking through phones. Is it like an AR type of game? Like not like Pokemon Go, but like So like based in rea like the real world somehow you gotta magnify stuff. How you doing, King Zero? There we go. They're gazing into each other's eyes. There now let's go look at the second. Not the second, we got the second, the first one. Another tab, another speed tab. Is that the robo, I guess? I mean I said I wanted to give it to the hero, maybe I'll do well, that thing. Yeah, I'll do that and stuff. And sure. And more power for hero. Give you the prism specs for this uh, upcoming fight. Rather than your speed. I think we'll be okay. If not, I'll reload.
It's not video managing energy rather than, yeah, rather than time to complete tasks. Saving the hardest tasks for the time when you have the most energy increases productivity by 10%. That makes sense. If you have the energy to do something, great. You can find the time then. You have the energy to find the time. Little miff. I was supposed to get your car today. I had a couple of snafus in a hundred. Oh, reschedule for Monday. Gotcha. Have to reschedule. Well, that sucks, but at least you're still getting it looked after before, like, too much longer. I guess I just go back down here. No, not here. Or here. I mean, we can get there this way. I'm all out of sorts. Let's do another sleep. Get some good rest. Let Robo allow him to rest. He did just plow a forest for 400 years, so I'm sure he's still a little bit tired from that. Yeah, I think we're good. Like, unless I want to give you the moon armor for this fight, I think we'll be alright. I mean... Fight? Why would there be a fight coming up? I'm legally obligated to tell you that Tina loves you. Hey, thanks, Tina. Thank you, Zan family, for sharing the love across the across the internet. Hope you're having a good night. What's happening, Vix? Yeah, doing some endgame quests. We're doing the Genodome now, then it's kinda black omen time. Three times over. Then the cat getting eleven cats. That's gonna be easily another stream on top of this one. How you doing, yeah? Yeah, we got some endgame content. Favorite character in Chrono Trigger, Ian McKenzie? Oh, I'm Ayla all the way, look. Where you use the character's phone? I have to look through the messages. Oh, okay. I have to call people. Gotcha, gotcha. And it is a mobile game. Welcome home, Prometheus. Atropos? Yes, it's been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. We are in a place called the Genodome, yeah. We're about to take on Mother Brain, and not the Metroid one, presumably. Hey, Raptor Boss, thank you. Love the content. Appreciate the. Thank you so much. Unlike the other Irish series, is Prometheus had a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. But we are in the future, 2300 AD. What you say, Ayla no understand. Tell them, Prometheus. That would have been a hell of a twist if Robo, like, in an optional side, du side dungeon, like, b turns his back on you. What's happening right now? Oh. We'll step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans. Then we'll go see Mother. Robo? Hey, <laughs> remind you of your super fun Uncle A right on. What are you doing, Prometheus? I want to allow you to hurt them. You're indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropos, you've changed. Indeed. Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus. Ding. Wait, stand back. Leave this to me. You guys stay the hell out of it. Atropos? Prometheus? Do you have any? I do have brothers and sisters. I only really keep in touch with one brother, one sister at all. A lot of my brothers and sisters are like way older than me. We don't share a lot of common ground. We are in the middle of another time paradox. Who could use their knowledge of these robots to develop these robots? 
Got a build up of stuff to do after this client leaving your schedule. I was getting all messed up. Yeah. Right, no, like, you know, sometimes if it helps, you know, get the job done. It's not, you know, for emergency situations, yeah, sure. But yeah, I get why you don't want to make, like, a habit of it. There, we did it. Shiradel, how you doing tonight? Keep seeing your streams. Hey, I hope it's not too uh, intrusive or anything. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You and my dad used to play Chrono Trigger. Ah, when he was a kid. Yeah, lots of fun memories. Oh, hell yeah. I'm damaged. What happened? At your post? Hey, Douglas Rodriguez. Greetings from Brazil. Greetings from Canada. Hope you're having a good day. Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory restored. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Kinda love your streams. Hey, glad to hear it. Glad you're enjoying your stay. Thank you for subbing. Means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you again. This is for you. You can plug this into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. Yeah, Ribbon ups Robo's speed by three. That's actually really good. And Magic Defense by ten. I mean, even if it's just the three speed, Robo, it's just his speed is just now three higher. So let's use another shelter so Robo can have another sleep. Go beat up Mother Brain. Oh, gotta eat. All right, Shy Riddell, thanks for stopping in. Have a good meal. Oh, we didn't do this part. Uh, let's do this part. Damn it. Of course Chrono's faster now. I did that on purpose. Don't forget the last tab here. I was about to. Oh yeah, there was that other area actually open up. Surely I can turn around from here. Yeah, I still gotta place the the dolls. We're good. Is it in this mess? I can't even remember. What, that one in there? Did I not... I can get it now? Or is there, like, another another one? Yeah, G yeah Gino Dove is... Robo's magic hand. Am I forgetting something? How do I open the... Laser door part. Is that... It's not after the fight. That's what you're referring to, right? What's up? Saw one in there. Oh. He just eventually will do it. Okay. Magic tab. Got it. And my favorite variety of elixir, the mega elixir. Oh, you can never come- oh. You can never come back here after you beat the boss. I guess we're good now, though. Become a new favorite streamer. Hey, thanks, Raptor Boss. I appreciate you saying that. Glad you enjoying the stream. I'm gonna take out this boss here, Mother Brain. Who looks different from the Metroid games? Did well to come this far. I'm the Mother Brain of the RY series factory. Come, Prometheus. You must once again join us. Or reset your circuitry and erase your memoirs. We'll then dispose of these filthy humans. Sorry, but I cannot afford to lose anything else. Not my precious memories or my irreplaceable friends. I'm gonna go to my friends. Oh, invite me to hang over. Hey, enjoy. Enjoy binging some shows with your friends, yeah? Have yourself a good weekend. Oh, she's got a blue mail. Okay, cool. You betray me to stay with the humans? You would turn against a family of robots? Humans have taught me much. Mega, Marl, Luca, Frog, and Ayla, in that order. I will not betray my friends. 
Foo hoo 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 hoo. This is rich. Don't make me laugh. You have emotions. I'll show you how human you've become. Hey, thanks, Ness Force. Getting there. Crack a lacking up there. Yeah, someone call Metroid. Yeah, to take care of Mother Brain. Quickly. One blue male. 7 p.m., but I'm still watching. Should I go to sleep? Do you have anything to do in the morning? If you have something to do in the morning, you should probably get some rest. Otherwise, by all means, hang out. Uh, triple kick, go. Oh, figured out how to get the chat back when it disappears. Just swipe back and forth. Okay, to and from a new stream. I think get some chores done. Alright, Raptor. Good luck with the chores. I'll see you when you get back. Palika... What? Phil Calaman... Kanzi Juice? Yeah, Chrono fights against the A-Guy program. Yes, exactly. Oh, that was... We just... Waffle stomped his boss. Prometheus, why? No, Prometheus X. Got the Terra arm and the Crisis arm. All machines in the factory have been shut off for good. I eat breakfast. I mean, eating is important. Robo? Let's go. Okay, Robo, get out of my party now and stay out. At least until New Game Plus. Alright, it's time to start going to the Black Omen a bunch. I'm pretty sure I have to start, yeah, I have to start in 1000 AD, then go back to 600 AD, and then go to 12,000 BC. And I can do the Black Omen three times if I do the... Vicky Cordyceps, hey. Rebranded, okay, you're no longer a Skell lesbian, but you're a gay mushroom now. Alright. Glad to hear that you're a fun guy. Enjoy your new gay mushroom life. <laughs> Would I glue that wig to my head and wear it permanently for 5000 per month for life, guaranteed? I assume there would be other, like, health issues that would ensue from gluing this to my head. So probably not. It probably wouldn't wind up being worth 5000 a month. Now if I had to wear it out in public? Always seen with it in public. But I could still, like, clean my scalp and stuff. That's a bit of a different conversation. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go to the Black Omen in the future. We're gonna emit some toxic spores, oh no. No, this, the mighty Lavos reigns here. Relax, poor creatures. The mighty Lavos has already consumed this world's life energy. It just occurred to me the other day that I'm surprised you can't do, like, an optional, like, 2300 AD Lavos fight. Where he'd either be, like, super powerful or just different. Allowed to take it off once per day for one hour to shower. I'd still probably end up finding it more trouble than it's worth. It's shut tight. So, probably not, actually. Now to actually think about it for a minute. I just can't help but feel like there'd be this whole host of problems on top of it that I hadn't considered. Gian Luca, how you doing? The best at this game. You are so bad. Hey, enjoy your speed running. Never been much of a speed runner. That's not my, not really my jam. But no hate on speed running over here. Yeah, let's start. Let's get a start on some of these black omen runs. And maybe we can break up the monotony by collecting some cats.
Fools, haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos, who devours his plants, even as he sleeps. Within 999 years, he'll become the ruler of this world. If all health and sanitary problems were nullified... I mean, I guess. If, if that plus 5,000 a month... I mean, I guess so. I mean, it's not like I have other hair I can show off, so I may as well just wear this hair. Louise, how you doing? Hey, I'm enjoying the game. Monkey556? Five, five, yeah, I'm wearing the hair that the main character of this game is also wearing. If you wear it permanently, your skin will fuse to the wood. I mean, it would be kind of like Saiyan hair at that point, because it like never grows, I guess. You just maintain your Saiyan hair for life. People care about RPG speedruns? I think so. It's a pretty big speed uh, running community. Hey, SF Clips, how you doing? What's up, man? Yeah, long time no see. Hope you're well. Black Omen's a path which leads to Lavos. It's a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. Oh, isn't that adorable? You should sacrifice yourself to the mighty La This is not Lavos. Crazy lady. Doesn't even look like Lavos. This thing doesn't have anything worth stealing, I don't believe. Flyclops, gold studs, goons, nova armor, aliens, magic tabs, panels, yeah, speed tab, tubsters, power tabs, ruminators, mega licks. Right on. Hey, one, one lixer. Ooh, it's a Mega Mutant, which is normally my favorite variety of mutant. Hey, don't worry about a game studio. I didn't take it personally. It's, it's okay. Yeah, if I actually put my head down, I could probably uh, do a decent Mario RPG speedrun. How you doing, Dust? Keep the volume down, but expected to see you, but randomly saw you in what looked like a Dragon Ball Z cosplay. Yeah, it's the same character that I'm in the game that I'm playing. That's what that's all about. How you doing, Aiden? Squint and turn your head sideways. Who do I look like when I do that? How you doing, Nick? Thank you for the lard. Okay, so Lavo spawn parts. Oh, okay. I have a haste helm and a safety helm. Okay. Zeal's hands have prism stuff, right. Doing alright, Aiden. I don't think these have anything terribly special, but let's... ...try to yoink from them anyway. Muscle ring, that's not horrible, I guess. Peeping Doom. I'm like a Peeping Tom. Completely different. Yeah, definitely gotta get those haste helms. Probably replace those with the prism helm. Chrono Trigger 100% SNES speedrun. 4 hours, 32 minutes, 37 seconds. Hey, Matt Henneman. Yeah, I'll probably go for... We'll do a new game plus playthrough and get all the endings. I think I more or less remember how to get them all. That won't be tonight, though. I don't even think we're going to beat the game tonight. We have three Black Omen runs to do. We also have... Um... In addition to the three Black Omen runs, we still have 11 cats to get. That's all going to take a while. Yeah, playing the SNES version. You always found the yeah, Haste Helm Nova Armor combo on the guys in the party. Nova Armor is like the ribbon, right? It blocks status, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. No complaints there. 
Got some goons coming up. Yeah. Fifteen cats, you can take some of them. I'm sure Speedy would, uh, have no shortage of things to do in that instance. These things are immune to lightning, I think. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That was actually the opposite of what I wish to get. Yeah, Karma Jolt. Yeah, these are the Nova Armor guys. There we go. Got one. Come on, Frog, do your squash. 69 hit points, 65 MP. Shout out to Karma Jolt. Hey, Marco. Yes, I wear other clothes when I'm not streaming. This is indeed factual. Why did I choose the SNES version? I just figured since I was doing a vertical stream that, like, I would start with the SNES version, and if I wanted to do other versions, I can just do that on top of what I'm doing currently. I'm sort of retconning a lot of my old streams in a way through the vertical live streaming. Like, if I hadn't, you know, anything I played before, I can play again, clean slate, so I'm just kind of starting with regular versions of everything for the most part. Oh yeah, maybe equip the other Nova armor. Well, you got the moon armor and a Nova armor. I guess we're fine. You can't wear it, so... I mean, I could give you the Zodiac cape, I guess, sure. MDEF is almost max. Retro Video Gamer, how are you? What's poppin'? We're doing some uh, Black Omen three times over. You talk to the Queen Zeal at the entrance and fight her at the end. She no longer shows up in the past versions. Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't work like that. You always assume Harv is nude from the waist down during stream. I'm not... I'm not naked. I'm wearing a smile. Rom, how you doing? Tornado Garden has three gallons of hair gel to apply. Yeah, apply. Busy night. If you don't get the enemy's primary item... Oh, okay. It does let you. I mean, I guess we're okay. We got a spare one. During all these runs, I'm sure we'll find another one. Okay, really important to remember about for the aliens, okay, in the magic town. Spent two hours watching a video of someone climbing a 7500 mountain in a mountain climb. Is it like a mountain climbing simulator? Sync raid, what do you... Gold earring. Pretty good steal. I mean, get another one I, while we're here. Oh, I never did get the gold rock, I think it was, from, you know, frogs. You know, six, 600. I didn't get that triple tech thing. Try to remember to get it at some point. How you doing, Izzy? Hey, have a good night, Scott. Have a... Have yourself a lovely weast... Easter weekend. Easter weekend. Yeah, it reminds me. I guess tomorrow is Friday. I did say I was going to play Delta Traveler, so I suppose I should do that. Yeah, we definitely got to steal from all of these panels here. The panels, the pawn over here. Speed tab. Doing alright, Izzy. Hope you're doing alright. Hanging in there. I mean, that's the main thing. You're still hanging. Yeah, doing alright. Doing alright. Right, yeah, waiting for, uh... Waiting for you. Yeah. Miss summer break, spring break, waiting for retirement. Yeah, it's a little ways away, yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. The, uh, if you still 
armor off enemies, it lo they lowered their stats. But yeah, those don't respawn. The I mean, we can make these two more, more faster. That didn't... Okay, good. Oh, it's because I hit the wrong one. Oh, all right. I was gonna say, why can't I L and R up and down? Uh, but you can't. I just didn't hit the right one, apparently. There. Main party. Fast as fast can be. I sincerely doubt I'll beat Chrono Trigger tonight. I have other things I want to do. I want to get 11 cats. That takes forever. And three Black Omen runs isn't terribly quick, either. We'll definitely have another regular stream of this, but we'll also do a New Game Plus run and get all the other endings and stuff. I could probably be talked into trying to grind to fight the new Speccio, but we'll see. We'll see how much I want to move on. Yeah, the panels. Yeah, my favorite steel. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to fully max up speed. Utilizing these panels. Even these wall robots, yeah, don't show- yeah! Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it makes, uh... It makes this, the speed tab heels a little less broken, I guess. Let's pump them into Robo, because, like... Why not? Because I feel like it, that's why. And that's the bottom line. Oh, curious about the cats. Yeah. The game doesn't really give you any indication that you can do it, but yeah, you can recruit 11 cats in this game. Like I was saying, it takes forever to do it. It's not so bad if you know, like... Because when you exit, or I, I forget if it's whether you exit or enter the Millennial Fair, it will just reset your uh, cat food collection counter thing. But if you use a time gate to leave the Millennial Fair and, like, go around that way, it doesn't reset the timer. So if you're grinding for cat food and want to check, you want to take the time portal out. You don't want to take the entryway. How many year games have I played this year? I forget off the top of my head. A few, I'm sure. I mean, I played a bunch of Mario already. I'm beating this game with... Oh, New Game Plus, you just get to go through the game again. Uh, with all your stats and stuff. A lot of your equipment, your stats. Not all your equipment, but a good chunk of it. How you doing, Jack? But yeah, I, I kept meaning to try to see if there was 11 cats in the game. I know there's a, a few. But if there's exactly 11 outside of Chrono's cat, I have to assume that all the cats in the game were Chrono's 11 cats. An afterlife exists, and you could design it perfectly according to your exact wishes. What would my afterlife... How would my afterlife look? Probably more or less like my current life, but with superpowers. Whatever superpowers I want at that moment in time. So like kind of Superman, I guess. Superman Afterlife. Sort of a, you know, an Afterlife New Game Plus, if you will. Showing these things what for? But yeah, these are also good to grind TP on, but like we don't really need them with this, these three. Oh, come on now. Jeez.
Marion Jones, how you doing? How long has Chrono Trigger been out? It's been out for almost 30 years now. I assume you can get it on mobile, but like on desktop, you can only get it on Steam. Well, how about some metal, not a metal mutant, it's a metal mute. Oh, I've ever, yeah, I've done the cat thing before. The only thing I don't normally bother doing is grinding up to max level to fight new Specchio. I just normally lose interest. Normally I'll have new game gotten all the endings and played through the game twice and I'm like nowhere near max level and I'm like, alright, I'm done. I just can't be bothered to grind for 10 hours to get it. feel old yet. I've I've felt old since like probably my twenties. It doesn't really get much better, but you get more accepting of it, I guess, as time goes on. Nothing I can do about it, so why be upset about it? Someone always leaves me scratching my head, new Yeah, New Orleans builds a city before sea level. I don't know, I guess they just figured there's land here, there's not water in it currently. I guess we'll build a city here. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just like cheat the levels in. Like I'm not I'm not above that. I just generally don't. Yeah, that one dude too, it was the laird that counted, always. I was gonna say, like, why is there only one? That's not very symmetrical where he's standing. I'm 99% sure these things are immune to lightning. Or rather, they get healed by lightning. Why have I been a fan of Chrono Trigger? Probably since 95. Like, when it was brand new. Ages ago. Back in 1000 AD. Have I ever... I've had gin before, it's not my drink of choice. What am I max leveling the eight party members from Breath of Fire? Oh my heavens. That would also be a tall order. I can never be bothered with that in Breath of Fire 1 or 2. Cactus, how you doing? Yeah, lightning does heal them. Yeah, I remember being annoyed, couldn't spam Luminaire. Yeah, I just want to mindlessly spam. Come on, Square. That's why I'm mad at Rebirth. Onward. I could probably increase the battle speed a bit. Probably wouldn't do a lot of harm, at least for right now. Yeah, Chrono Trigger, you know, for, you know, Pardon the pun, but you know, it's hold stands the test of time pretty well. Overall presentation is still uh, holds up. But yeah, I would have been around ten years old when this game came out. Roughly. Or get the mega elixirs if I if I am able to. Cause these things eat each other, and it makes it hard to get a mega elixir when they're doing that. When they're being weird like that. I guess that's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, Pixel Art, yeah, just ages crazy. Whoa. Doing well, super happy. The doctor confirmed today that I don't. Oh, great, yeah, that the nod wasn't cancer. Good, good, good. Uh, gynomastia. Hey, consider yourself lucky for sure. Yeah, very small. Yeah, but we're gonna take care of it. No, good, that's great news. Glad to hear it. We gotta at least try to speed up the battles a little bit. Save a few minutes. If we're doing three Black Omen runs. I don't want it on max speed just yet, because I've been playing it at this speed and I'll probably die as a result. But we turn it up a little bit. A woman poop, kinda. Yeah, whatever. Ayla's beauty. Really universal. You got these unspeakable alien monstrosities yeah, on brick. You know, with her kiss ability. Those things are more for, like, tech point grinding. Okay, let's turn the battle speed up a little. Fast. Battle, well, battle gauge speed. Yeah, let's just crank up to four. That's the right thing, ain't it? Ain't it? Yeah. Maybe I should have it on max speed, but also wait. Another Mega Elixir. Thirty thousand G. Wow. We're gonna steal as many Mega Elixirs as we can. They're great to have. Like, for the third walkthrough of uh, this area, we can just Mega Elixir willy-nilly. Yeah, Slurp Kiss. Yeah, funniest tech name. And it's a double tech, so allow the mind to wander. I mean, pizza is great. Yeah, this game is so good. One of my all-time favorites, as well. Seventeen damage. I meant to do Ayla's Charm thing instead. Forget if these even have anything. Oh yeah, the Gold Stud, the Fly Clops, that's right. Lots of really good steals here. I'm from Canada. I am very Canadian. You started Final Fantasy VII for the first time? How you liking it so far? Oh. I mean, that might not be the worst thing to just put on Frog, too. For cheaper healing and stuff, but we are also stealing all these Mega Elixirs. As well. Where I'm at in Can at Canada, it's exactly 12 midnight. On the button. Why does it look so bright? I don't know. Oh, I, I, I have like background lights and stuff. One of them's like a white light. It gives off sort of like daylight looking light. The daylight looking stuff. Anything but comedy, yes. Bro is Chrono Trigger, that's right. First name Chrono, last name Trigger. 
Oh, not sure yet. Yeah, no worries. Battle system seems interesting, though. I hope you enjoy it. Love to talk about how it's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, Speedy's all sleeping right now. He's all like, look at me, I'm a cat and I'm asleep. That was my Speedy impression. Ooh, 3 a.m. in Portugal. Got it. We'll be up for a few hours yet. Yeah, I got some Mega Chrono up in here. Up in here. America, man, what's happening? I got another gold earring. That was a 80s band. I forget what they sang, but I know one of their songs is in Guitar Hero. Cloud isn't a huge... Not the whole game. I don't enjoy soccer too much. I'm not huge into, like, watching sports. Unless I'm, like, there live. If I'm live at a game, I can get more into it. Take that jaw. Pop for me. I guess we can use some of these hyper others. Well, I mean, realistically, we should use the worst stuff. Let's do that. That'll be fine for a bit. Oh, another Nova armor. Another Mega Elixir, which is my favorite variety of Elixir. We may as well use a shell. I know we just use that other stuff, but we'll be wasteful about it. Akex. I have thoughts. I've never seen it. Lemon on a pear meme? I've never seen that meme. So, uh, no opinion. Eric Usu. Yeah, frog flexing with that huge, yeah, trogdor. He's pretty swole. You gotta give frog that for a, for a frog. Ooh, haste home. Uh, you can have it. Because I want you to steal, Ayla. What will you do? Shop. A lot of great stuff. Yes, yeah, so I'll have hyper, hyper others or so. I mean, is there any... Do I need this money for anything? Sure, we'll buy ten. Oh, Radar Love. Thank you. When the bullet hit... Oh, yeah, bullet hits the bone. Oh, I didn't know that was gold earring. Or they're classic rockets. Okay. Radar Love was the one I was thinking of. Star Wars games? Uh, I streamed Star Wars Racer once. I haven't played a lot of them. All I can tell you is we're halfway there. Oh, lambing on a pear. I get it now. Or I get it more. How you doing, Marissa? No idea what this game is, but nice wig hat. Thank you. I am wearing the main character's hair right now. And the rest of his wardrobe. Three of you in a place like this, you got a long journey ahead of you, so please rest for a while. If you wish to awaken from this dream, there's probably a way. What will you do? Uh, stay. If you wake up from the dream, they kick you out of the area. And I don't want to do that. Squidward on a chair. Console addict, how you doing tonight? What's happening? I think we're going to fight some of those power tab enemies here now. Is Ayla going to outspeed Chrono despite the fact she has a haste on? I'm actually not sure. Uh, yes. Maybe I should give Frog the prism spec so when he does Frog Squash, it should do more damage. Opinion? Metallica's great. I saw them live in Halifax back in, like, I don't know, 2010. It's a great concert. Growing up, I didn't really listen to much Metallica until Guitar Hero Metallica came out, and I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why did I never listen to them? Uh, but better late than never. 
Driving all night, hands wet on the wheel. Jedi Fallen Order, uh, just from a gameplay perspective. I have not. How you doing, the tax evasion guy? Being slowly suffocated to death by my cat. Relatable. Oh, really? You can resp- So I can... Just do this, you're saying? I have to backtrack or... It's gonna take for you to sing Living on a Prayer. Any amount of confidence that I won't get YouTube copyright struck for some reason for doing so. Karaoke it. How you doing, Oso Gringo? Chad Bennett, welcome back. I have played Legend of Dragoon. I'm due to play it again. I haven't played it since it was on the PlayStation Plus service. That's good to know that I can do that. I'm not going to at the moment, but certainly can. What, the, the Lavo song? Yeah, I need a full cover. Yeah, Xeno Gears. I love Xeno Gears. I'm long overdue for Xeno Gears. Um, sure, Frog. I'm actually doing more damage than Ayla right now. We can fix that. Yeah, I'll give you the... No, I gave Robo the specs. Take them off. You can have that instead. There, we did it. Yeah, the Lavos song. Oh, getting into some pizzas here, greasy fingers. Yeah, no worries, Oso Gringo. Enjoy that... Enjoy that pie. Yeah, Bon Jovi cover. Yeah, at 69,420 subs. How you doing, Michael Merva? Uh, let's heal line selves. Well, I guess I shouldn't have tried to heal Frog, but I did anyways. Forget what you steal from the the Gatos, who also have metal joints. Who I have to assume if you beat them up would also give you 15 points, but I guess not. Why are you... Right, because you don't have the... Nova armor. Well, fine, I'll just Luminar. Cereal milk is delicious. What kind of cereal was in the milk? Should have tried this in the past, but I'm guessing you do the omen in every timeline. You have to go back before you battle the queen. No, like, if you do it, like, in chronological order, that would make sense. Like, I'm in 1000 AD now. We can fight the queen. And then afterwards go back. It's how you can get three prism dresses. If you start out in a thousand, then go to six hundred, then to twelve thousand, you can fight the queen three times over and get three prism dresses that way. But I think I do think you have to do it in that order. X strike, gonna give it to you. So accepting we all are with retinted enemies. I mean, there's different species of, you know, whatever creatures in the real world. I mean, there's alligators and crocodiles. They're not like. Those are like kind of palette swaps, I guess. Sorta. Is the stronger variant that I don't know. I, I forgot to scan. 
I love how anything but comedy and Michael Mervin were on the exact same wavelength. Yeah, fully bleem Florida to be a late game area. Yeah, pallet swapping, yeah, turning one enemy type into multiple, yeah, since forever. Because, yeah, I used to gripe about that too, but I'm like, wait a second, we have grizzly bears, we have polar bears, those are pallet swaps of each other. Sizes may be different as well, but... I mean, even house cats, a lot of them are pallet swapped. Trying to do a frog squash over here. You're ruining it. Here you hear it there. That's even better. Yeah, tabby cats, yeah, ultimate pallet swap. Fired goon. There. Even more Nova armor, because why not? Did he ever attack you? Not like, in, like on purpose. Like sometimes he might play a little rougher than he might mean to. Like sometimes he'll latch off, kind of have his claws and bite me a bit, but then like follow it up with some licks. So it's like he wants to play, but he's just kind of he gets excited sometimes. But nothing like malicious. Yeah, I do need more, uh, gold studs, don't I? Mostly because I forgot. Predominantly. May have to go. Hey, no worries, Jack. Hope you have yourself a good night. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I don't know an overabundance about Fred Astaire, either. Yeah, biting and then licking you. Actually, form of grooming, yeah, so he loves you. He is a very friendly dude. Fred Astaire was a really good dancer and apparently didn't like how big his hands were. Go figure, I wonder why that is. Hey, gotta go. Alright, Marco, thank you, thank you, and your beard was looking good today. Appreciate that, Marco. Have a good Easter weekend. Yeah, Nicholas Miller, best game ever. One of my all-time favorites as well. I am a fan. Come on, frog. Don't let it... Don't let this one get away. I'm gonna blame you, frog. It's all your fault, Glenn. Power seal. I wonder what those even do. Are they like a dispel? I can't remember for the life of me. Power suit. Oh, I got several of these. Apparently not. So it's an accessory. Maybe I was thinking the power meal. I don't know. Oh, it just raises a bunch of stats. That's all. That's all it does. Hey, demons with horns! Welcome back. Death Moon, no, don't eat my hair. I need it. I need it for my head. Because I want to wear it. Is the reason. You got my power seal, then you got your power meal. As long as we don't break the power seal, I think we're in good shape. 
Kaj, do I really need it? Yeah, I do. But eating your hairs for the journey. I don't care. I'm not done yet. You can eat my hair when I'm done with them. How's that? Raptor boss, welcome back. We're still making our way through the Black Omen for the first time. It's been grabbing some stuff. We'll keep Frog kind of damaged here, so we can bust out a Frog Squash at a moment's notice. If required. Speed test. Luca is very slow as well. Wouldn't expect Luca to be slow, she's a bright girl. Just finding speed tabs everywhere. So they swallowed your own hair today. Yeah, no, no. The, the texture of hair is just, ugh. Not great. I think the aliens are in this room. I recall correctly. Yes, they are. Viking VR, how you doing? Hey, glad you like the hair. Counterattack me during the oh. I forgot that was a thing. Should do some... some good stuff, yeah. 3,000 damages. Yeah, don't attack the- yeah, pay attention to what you steal from, might have to do it twice, yeah. What did I just get? The whatever it said sword. That glitch text that happened again. Apparently none of that. What did I get? I have to look at the replay on that. Right, it's a glitch. Really. Well, I mean, it's definitely glitch text. Hey, thank you, Chad. Hitting that like button, appreciate it. Shield, got a... Went by really fast. I don't know what that other thing's supposed to be. It's glitched out text, though. How do you mention people reply to them in a YouTube live chat? Best thing you can do is just post someone's full username. If you post their full news username without any spelling mistakes, it will show up for them as orange, but you won't be able to tell. But if someone posts your name in the live chat, you'll see it as orange. So that's usually the best way to do it. But you won't know if you, like, maybe made a spelling mistake. Hey, DK Banana, this is my first run through the Black Omen. I do plan to raid. All three times. We're in 1,000 at the moment. Pegamarv. Yes, kinfolk. Z exactly. Another speed tab. Holy. Yeah, silly YouTube. Yeah, a little confusing. 
I mean, if you type at and start typing someone's name, it'll come up in the chat, so it makes it a lot easier to type it correctly, but... Let's just keep giving Chrono more magic. We're gonna frog squash. Is it all magic attack based? Let's pound it into Chrono, whatever. What evs? Yeah, it might be a mobile thing, I'm not sure. That's an odd thing to not have on mobile. Damn it, I healed Frog. That's fine. It's probably okay. We have a boss here. Another one of those robot vacuum cleaner bosses. This enemy thinks this enemy makes you think it's like a robot vacuum cleaner. Wall ring. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uten cast sleep. I think you can only fight the Lavo spawn one time as well. I don't think it respawns. It's like a broom to me. Well, some sort of floor sweeping, you know, floor janitorial duties, but you're not mad at a hit ring. If you can believe that. Stop drinking Chrono. Ayla should be able to dino tail this thing to hell and back. Let's do that. Yeah. Drop your phone. Oh. What happened? I think the message just got deleted. I don't think even perma banned from the channel or anything. Took your legs out, you see that? They're missing. Now your top ha half is also missing. Yeah, I don't think those enemies respawn either. Oh, I, I hate it when I'm just like... a pixel off of a save point, it's like... No, no, you're not... You're not in the save- the save point is covering your sprite, but you're not actually in the save point. I've had speedy time people out before. He'd be sleeping on my lap when I was using a tablet and his arm would start, like, moving because he's dreaming. Yeah, you're right. The Dino Tail is pretty much the same thing. I've just been focusing on Ayla's charm. So it's been sort of taking a backseat. Damn it.
confuse that strike, Chrono. Yeah, that vacuum was scary. Oh, from the Brave Little Toaster. No, I've never seen those. We're actually getting all the Mega Elixirs here. They're not, they're not trying to eat each other like the Ruminators typically do. Which sounds like a euphemism, but I, it's not when I say it. Apparently I missed out on a horror movie as a kid. Remember the cars singing about how worthless they were and how it was their time to die? When did this movie come out? Apparently I missed a banger. Forget what these things have, but something. I'm a com I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading is what that means. 87, yeah. I was two years old of age in 87. I don't remember that time very well. I remember my third birthday. And by remember it, I mean I remember how... I remember seeing birthday candles. Or my one birthday candle that had the number three on it. That's how I knew I was three. That's actually my earliest memory. My third birthday. I remember watching it on Cartoon Network a few times. Three movies. Oh yeah, the Kirby vacuum. Yeah, 80s kids movies here are actually notoriously dark. I think a lot of it I didn't really question as a kid. There's some stuff like Ernest Scared Stupid that, like, did scare me as a kid, but... Then I watch it as an adult, and I'm like, that thing is such clearly, uh... Like a costume. Very much so. Animated short film from the 30s. Oh, earlier today, their animation style. Oh, yeah, it's totally different. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, so much work. Ugly Douglas, 20k. How you doing? That's like part of the reason why, you know, like the Cuphead game took so long to come out because they're like, all right, we're going to do all of the panels. We're going to draw everything. I think they might have colored stuff with computer, but like still. Herculean effort. Damn it. Oh well. Respawn other ones. I'm pretty sure the Lavo spawn is in here. So let's actually get Ayla cured all the way back up here. Wait, cured? Seriously? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't remember Cure 2 being so inexpensive. Five. I'm oh, getting ahead of myself. Any more speed tabs here? But yeah, I haven't consumed a lot of Wizard of Oz uh, media. I'm honestly, like, I surely I've seen the movie, but like, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I watched it at some point with the, or at least tried to watch it doing, was it The Dark Side of the Moon? Pink Floyd. I think I've said on stream before that it was the wall, but it's it was Dark Side of the Moon, I think, that you can synchronize with 
uh, the Wizard of Oz movie, and it just sort of works for some reason. I feel like I read Nintendo Kirby. It was originally a placeholder sprite. Well, they designed the real character of the games. Devs grew to like him and kept him in, ultimately. That sounds like a thing that you didn't make up. Like, I feel like I heard that, too. How you doing, guy, James? Going all right. Oh, I guess the <laughs> gut wounded sword. I wonder what that garbled text is about. That has to be like an emulation issue. I've never seen that before. Dark side, yeah, Roger Waters is confirmed. It's just a coincidence. That's wild, but that was a coincidence. Maybe you and I keep periodically telling that curve. Maybe keep telling it to each other. Forget if I stole this speed tab or not. I haven't been paying the closest attention to this fight. I'm trying not to kill that middle panel because I forget if I stole from it. If it says thought that counted for both, I'm just going to slaughter them and it'll be fine. Yeah. Probably got them all. Oh, I was pretty big into Pink Floyd for a while. I don't listen to them a lot now, but... Like, I still think they're good, I just listen to other stuff. Gotta charm the left and right hands. Yes, definitely Bandit's best. Want to get three prism dresses. Specifically, that's what I want. I'm gonna be using haste helms for the most part. Hey, I'm Ari. How are you? I'm doing all right. Doing my first run of the Black Omen. You might be able to get two in tonight. And I mean, I've, you know, got the long weekend, so I could put in a little extra time tonight. We shall see how long it all takes. In case I didn't have enough speed tabs yet. Got like, what, eight? Seven? Eight? Yeah. Was eight. I'm fine with all that for the for the moment. Open up. Well, I mean, okay, fine. I guess stand on the save point. I guess that's a reasonable ask. Oh yeah, I heard about that too. The lawyer that defended Nintendo against MGM during the 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 Kong thing was named Kirby. I speculated Kirby as a thank you. Maybe this isn't similar, but like, it reminds me of I've heard that the reason why Mario is named Mario is because the, like, the guy that rented out, like, one of the buildings that Nintendo used to rent's name was Mario. I assume, like, Nintendo of America, but like, I don't know. Why would that make sense for uh, Japan? Unless it was rented out fr from a Mario in Japan. This could just also not be true, but I thought I heard that. Hey, welcome back, Raptor Boss. Jay Montaigne, how are you? So gonna ride your bike to work today, but your front tire was flat out of nowhere. That sucks. Grabbing Chipotle and walking home. Well, I hope you have a good, safe ride home. Jay, I'll talk to you again in a moment. Oh, doing all right. Upheld your promise. Gonna play Digimon. Hey, sounds good, Amari. Enjoy your playthrough. <laughs> Juggalo for life. I like your hair. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Mario was a janitor that worked for me. Dave Hackey, what's happening? Chrono must not ever take time to donate plasma for the others. In this era in history, it's a good cause. Yeah, even in video games, Chrono, what do you say? Oh, because, uh... This thing's extracting our life plasma.
Maybe it was the janitor. It was almost a hundred years old by the time Mario was created, yeah. Yeah, what building would they be renting? I don't know. I'm not sure. I could just be parroting a thing a parroting a thing that's not true. I would do though. Ever watch the video game years documentary by Retrowave TV? I don't think so. They're good. I met all creators face to face. Hey, multiple times. Oh, cool. At Retro World Expo. No, the name doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, Kirby is the name of the lawyer, right? For the DK King Kong case. Ayla, stop being confused. Especially now that you have one hit point. Because you'll do rather large damages with your Dino Tail ability. Hey, Ryan McDonald, how you doing? Number one, what's happening? Did I do tail spin? Because I didn't mean to. Okay, good. This should do, what, 3,000? Should do a lot. Why did that do no damage at all? The game just having none of my... Having none of it. I'm actually confused by that. Is this thing about to die? Is that the reason? Maybe that's what. Hey, thanks for subbing, Raptor Boss. Appreciate it. I don't know what that's about, but alright. This enemy's just immune to Dino Tail for some reason. Heard Mario's a pizza shop in Japan. M maybe. Need real magic. You're t KJ, you're telling me that summoning a gigantic dinosaur to wiggle its tail on an enemy isn't real magic. It's fake magic. I get what you're saying. I just didn't remember enemies being able to tank Dino Tail or Frog Squash at all. In any capacity. I clearly was incorrect, I just didn't remember. I think this thing just kind of explodes, yeah. Michael Myers got his name European film distributor. Oh, they got John... Oh, Carpenter's first movie in European theater. Not the guy that played Austin Powers, though, but, like, Halloween. Yeah, normal Tuesday. Yeah, even I can summon giant dinosaurs wherever I go. I mean, it is very commonplace fake magic, I got. My mistake. Not in a game about time travel, it isn't real magic. Yeah, for all you know, you just have a dinosaur from the past. For, for all you know, that's right, I, I might. I distinctly could. It's Thursday, though. Okay, this might be the Lavo spawn. And I'm not gonna use Frog Squash on that. Well, I could, but, like, I don't think it's a good idea if I were to try. I do need to steal from both parts of this Lavo spawn, however. I've been interested lately in the idea of there being, like, an adolescent Lavos enemy. Like how we have this little one that's like a baby, then we have fully grown Lavos. I want to fight an adolescent Lado Lavos that's like a mid-sized Lavos. Yeah, right, yeah, and Frog just has a giant pet frog you never really see. Yeah, it just kind of quietly follows around. In a safe helm. That was... That was painful. I probably could have left the safe helm. Oh, come on. How dare you. Yeah, Lavos with emo hair, yes. Yeah, Sean, yeah, adolescent Lavos with volcanic acne. Hey, thanks, Raptor Boss. Beard thing can take time. I didn't really get a proper beard out until I was, you know, in my 20s. A frog had the frying giant frog before he became a frog. I hope so. Just because that wouldn't be expected. At least not by me. 
There, I got a haste helm. Let's not make waste helm. I guess let's do dropkick. Prehistoric frog dropkick. Gonna search my space for lav yes, for angsty teen lavos, do it up, adolescent lavos. I could have done the triple attack just for We'll do it next time if Labo survives this onslaught. Just because I feel like it. Better finish the fight, Labo, so you blew the spot. Labo spawn, excuse me. I love how Dropkick does effectively the same damage as though. Hey, we did it. Kill him, he goes, it's not a phase, Dad. Yeah, but then goes to his next phase. Who do I want? Nova armor lock status, right? Yeah, so yeah. Ace, tell him. Yeah, but the... Yeah, the Nova armor does. The moon armor does not. I don't want to go about it like that. Start with you, frog. Do that for the moment, at least. I change my mind here soon enough. Onward! Oh yes, five panels to pawn uh, tabs off of. Yeah, what is Lavos anyway? Like Sin in Final Fantasy X? More, even more neutral than that, I would say. Like Lavos is just literally this like planet hopping parasite that can, that has like time, that distorts the space time continuum for some reason. I don't think we get much more information than that. How you doing, Psycho Cage? Yeah. It's 42 hours. I wonder if that considers, like, grinding for new Specchio. Between that and getting all the endings and fighting new Specchio, 42 hours seems like kind of... Like, I could see it being done, but I think you'd have to really know what you're doing. I'm not sure how many hours I've been playing this right now. I feel like pushing 30, but we'll, we'll see. Hey, doing good. Glad to hear it. Oh, not doing too bad. Thanks for asking. Doing alright. Playing more Chrono Trigger. Doing this uh, whole area again. They're doing the Black Omen. I haven't done it this playthrough, but we have two more trips to go through. You buy the theory that Lavos and Genova are the same species? I find it an interesting theory, but, like, they look very different. I think they're both just kind of, you know, space hopping, you know, parasite type of creations, but... Lavos is more like time travel you know, meddling than... Whereas Genova's more like mind control, I guess. Yeah, Nintendo used to make, I think, playing cards or like some kind of cards for years. Yeah, they debuted in the 1800s. Yeah, what's up with the pendant? Yeah, why is it trigger? Ah, why is it trigger time travel? No, good question. Oh yeah, I know you've had this question a thousand times, yeah, but what do you think of the chances we get a full remaster of Chrono Trigger really hoping for in the next few years? I would think that, like, if we don't get it for the 30th anniversary, or at least an announcement of it, like, we'll never get it. Like, it doesn't look promising as it stands, but, like, if we don't hear anything about it by next year, I think you may as well just forget it. 
I would personally like to see, like, an Octopath Traveler-style remaster. Or, like, more specifically, stylized, like, the Star Ocean 2 remaster, where it would be, like, the same pixel art characters, but, like, in an Octopath Traveler, like, background. That's what I would like to see. And I think, who is a Katase? Someone that works for Square was actually asking people, like, if we were to remake Chrono Trigger, how do you want us to remake it? So, the odds, you know, we might actually have a chance. Yeah, playing cards and probably Pachinko Machine. I might dab your channel. Hey, thanks, Raptor Boss. And Raptor Boss is a father. Thank you for subscribing. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Was it a pendant? Yeah, sends you back in time. Oh, it does in Dark Souls, too. And as Lavos is energy from Sala. Shala communicating with the Mammon Machine. Yeah, makes sense. That it would interact with his time gates. I still need to play Octopath. I've avoided it this whole time. How you doing, Akuma? Right, like, it, I'm amazed how long we've gone without hearing anything about HD 2D Dragon Quest 3. Like, I'm surprised we haven't gotten at least a release date or something. Hana Fuda cards? Okay. Still do. Okay. Seems pretty timeless visually, yeah, and from a gameplay perspective, yeah, kind of perfect for what it is. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's pretty, uh... I still, like, you know, visually it holds up really well. But yeah, this is another piece of the puzzle for, like, me saying... Okay, so if you missed me talking about this, I have a theory that Norstein Beckler at the Millennial Fair is King Zeal. And part of my proof for that is, like, okay, we're on the Black Omen. Why is there clones of all the party members here? Who else has clones of all the party members? Norstein Beckler. For some reason. Yeah, we got clones here. Norstein Beckler also has clones. That's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I don't see a, a Magus clone. I'm, I understand why, but... I digress. Yeah, no, that's okay. You don't need to send me any money, Raptor Boss. Thanks for watching. I mean, if you haven't liked the video, you can do that, and that helps me too. Thanks for being here. Hey, Psycho Cage. Thank you for the 1999 super chat, my dude. Harv, yeah, has the 20... Harv has the 2,000... I can't get the number right. Harv has the 200 IQ theories. Thank you so much, Psycho Cage. Appreciate it, my dude. But yeah, I, uh, it just sort of occurred to me one of my last playthroughs when I didn't get the Chrono Doll. And like Bethesar, who's also from like 12,000 BC, is like, oh, if you find Norstein Beckler, he loves festivals. It's like, why does Balthasar know about this guy? Like, it sounds like a crazy, I mean, it is like a crazy fan theory, but like, if you look at it, like, there is some connective tissue there. Like, more than there should be, which should be zero. It might just be all coincidental. I find it interesting. I'm not gonna stick around for a long time. Hey, no problem, Akuma. I wanted to stop by and say hi. Streams are a nice way to unwind. Yeah. Glad I can help make your day better, Akuma. Appreciate you letting me know. How much for an Ayla clone? Yeah, asking for a friend. Upvoting Arakutsu's industry. Yeah, we have the... Wait, we have the same friend? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure you could uh, commission a fellow to get you, you know, one that's pretty close. Behold, my pretties. Destiny in its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been, all the happiness and sorrow you may have experienced. Yeah, so have I been butchering your name this whole time? Probably. I would do that. Please let me know if I have been. Gone forever, for there will be no tomorrow. The Dark Omen transcends time and space, waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall rest forever, unless you can defeat me and smash the Black Omen. Or smash the Omen. Come, dear friends, perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. I say dreams, I mean his eternal nightmare. Was that what you meant? Don't be like that. Mega elixir it up. Have none of that. C. 
Seiko Kage. Okay, I'll try not to butcher your name anymore, Seiko Kage. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Right. Whatever just happens naturally, I'll try not to stress out about it. Day three of fine your stream. Hey, Phoenix Connor, welcome back. Turn into a trend with my feed. Hey, I hope you're enjoying your stay. I'm not too intrusive over here. Need to go to bed. Yeah, no worries, Raptor Boss. Have a good sleep. Thanks for stopping in. Counter magic, is that what's happening? I forget. Yeah, maybe I should. Or at least heal with Chrono. We'll do that. We'll give Chrono a... We'll give Chrono Elixir. This should be a lot of damage. I mean, Frog's got the Prism specs. Almost 5,000, yeah. And got another Mega Elixir. Phallic, welcome to the chat. How you doing? Yeah, knowing some Japanese helps. I'm sure it would. Ah, my powers don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll simply toss you into the Mammoth Machine. You will be one with the Omen Lavos and me. Ooh. Menage a toi. Another Mega Elixir. Don't modify all energy. It's a lot of energy to modify. Finally here, a hey, longer work night. Welcome, welcome, Kaizo. Serious. Hope you're having a good one. My Lavos in me. Anything but comedy. Yeah. Luminar. Yeah, giant frog. Yeah, giant frog. Big old dinosaur tail. Waving. Waving away. Probably Mega Elixir again now. the uh, Mammoth Mech. And we still have two more trips through the Black Omen to do. This is our first. Ah, uh, that. Do that. Nice. Oh, well. Probably okay. That's no big. No big thang. Yeah, right, yeah, you can tell Toriyama like dinos. Most definitely. Yeah, next two trips. Yeah, I won't have to fight the... All those speed tab enemies second time around either. A lot of the bosses, I guess. Aren't an issue anymore. I like telling streamers what they've done for me because it makes them feel. Yeah, no, I definitely do appreciate it. Yeah, some of my streamers help me out of a dark. Hey, I mean, I've been there with like you know other YouTubers I mean, helping me through a dark time. So it's it's great to be able to like pay that forward. So I do I do always appreciate hearing it. How you doing, Atari DC? We are fast approaching some Queen Zeal action.
Go steal some prism dresses. Well, one right now. Then another. Oh, I should, uh, for one of these trips here, I need to bring Magus along. Because if you bring Magus along for this fight, it plays his music. And I think there's some bonus dialogue. You Cretans, I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever. You will not get in my way. Indulge in such regrets in the next life. Yeah, I'll try to remember to do that next time. Yeah, I forget to. Let's find out. Uh, start with her right hand, my left. There's a prism dress. Uh, that one, I guess. Yeah, one lowers your attack, one lowers your MP, I think, or whatever. Lowers your HP, one lowers your MP. Mantadia, yeah, I haven't been using much Luka this playthrough. I tend to... I don't use her a lot for some reason. I like her more now than when I was younger, but like... This is always just my final party. Uh, Frog, Ayla, and Chrono. Yeah, master hand moment. But yeah, Queen Zeal is also two hands in the face, much like uh, Norstein, <coughs> Norstein Beckler. Is it all a coincidence? Probably. But I don't know. That's a lot of coincidences to line up. Norstein Beckler, Queen Zeal having the same, you know, physique. Both of them having access to clones of everybody throughout time. Balthastar knows who Norstein Beckler is. It's interesting. Find it interesting. Maybe I need to use real magic on them, too. Alright, have a good night, Akuma. Thanks for stopping in. Marl's the definitive worst character, right? I think that's a general consensus. She's basically frog, but less useful. I mean, haste is good, but once you have haste helms, it's like... Whatever. And her big bad spell is just cure, too, isn't it? just gets ice, too. Why can't I hurt your hands? Doing, like, no, no hand damage here. What if I do that? Well, I'll just attack your face some more, though. Good out of it, too. Alright, Spy Wolf, thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping in. Yeah, Beckler, yeah, awesome, uh, optional fight. Oh, you single target skills on her face. Hey, oh. Oh, does she get life too? I forget. Maybe she does. Even still, life too. That's kind of mid. Close we are to cloning pets. I don't know, like, I haven't... I haven't paid attention to, like, cloning technology and... You know, a dog's age, you could say. No word, a dog's age.
well. Hey, Trace Venture, how do I keep Chrono from dying? I've been spamming elixirs and mega elixirs a lot. Oh, um, after, if you're talking about after the Ocean Palace, if you collect Chrono's clone and go to Death Peak in the future, you can bring him back to life. The Sheep King, how you doing? Your weakness, brightly colored shapes. We did it. We hit her in the head so hard her hands exploded. How dare you insects come after me? Oh, almighty Lavos, lend me your power. The Chrono Trigger Spirits and SSB. I don't think so, Smash Bros. I don't believe so. Yeah, no problem, Trace. But yeah, I gotta get the clone from 1000 AD in the fair. Millennial Fair. Last Lavos awakens compared to him. You are like germs, but I shall obtain immortality. She chrono on my trigger. Hey oh, the Diamond Tims. You can say that again. Oh, do I actually fight Lava? I forgot. I guess I would. Lavos. 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 That was the Lavos song. Oh my god, this is the gauntlet fight too that takes like 45 minutes. Alright, let's goo. Let's goo. This might be worth my while giving Chrono the Prism Specs for a bit. So they could just Luminaire everything for more damage. So let's do the... Do that thing that I said. I guess I'll give you the Hero Medal for now. And you, uh, Prism Spec. Actually... Oh, it's Magic Seal and Power Seal. Right, right, right. Uh, what was I... what was I thinking? We're fine, it's fine. We can course correct as we go along. It looks like an urchin, kind of. Demonic porcupine thing. Assemble the SEAL army, yes. Right, yeah, Lavos also copies the stats of the old bosses. Yes, the Luminaire is overkill, for the most part. It's kind of why this fight annoys... Like, you know, when you do it the first time, it's like, okay, great. But subsequent times, it's like, okay. This takes forever. Gob, how you doing? How do you feel about the opinion that Lavo should have just been its shell? On that the inner core ruins the feel. No, I, I think I like that there's an inner core. It's it's that, you know, this isn't even my final form sort of trope. I think it's welcomed with Lavos. Yeah, it's almost crazier that Chrono's not in Smash at this point. Lavos. Lavos. Yeah, the Lavos song is crazy. Yeah, and I can just heal between fights. 
as well. Like, you don't even necessarily have to do, like, this version of Lavos, but I do find this fairly tedious. This is like a boss rush, but like nothing else has changed, so you just kind of sleepwalk through most of the... And then you just end up fighting Lavos at the end anyway. Right, yeah, if I wanted to beat the game... Yeah, Lakuya, if I wanted to beat the game, we could very soon. Uh, but I got some other screwing around I want to do beforehand. Yeah, I like how it yeah, occasionally breaks into a music box for some reason. Yeah, how are they add Sora from Kingdom Hearts but not Krona? Yeah, Cloud's yeah closest thing we have to a square mascot at this point, I suppose. Hey, paper, what's happening? Oh, uh, sorry you got hear that. Got rejected by your crush. That sucks. And dust yourself off, you know. Try not to let it get you down too much. Move on. Yeah, I haven't done the queen boss with Magus yet, but like... Presuming I remember for one of these Black Omen trips, I will. So we can get was at the dialogue. At least we can do the queen fight with Magus' boss music. Kate shit. <laughs> Oh, literally cat shit. Not Kate Sith, but cat turds. Yeah, his boss rush should have been, and I think it is a level gate for you. So you know before even fighting him, you know, you're strong enough to fight him. I don't think you can flee between... Phases, but I'm act I'm not sure. Gonna go. All right, paper, feel better. Got you later. Yeah, Krona doesn't even get like a costume. That's. What disrespect. Right, yeah, since you can fight him at any point. Having this sort of boss gauntlet for the end of time bucket, I have less of a problem with. Having it be at the end of the Black Omen is kind of... Like, if you can beat Queen Zeal, I don't think Dragon Tank... Lavos is gonna really do much to hinder our progress. Yeah, Visions of Mana. Feels different compared to the DS version for Lavos. Uh, maybe it's the menu. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I still haven't played the DS one. Yeah, I think you skip the first, uh, I think you just skip the Lavos phase if you take the Epoch to 99. How you doing, Squid, man? I thought there was a way you could just fight norm- like, Lavos normally. Maybe that is, like, if you take the Epoch, but, like, don't. You might have the option to not crash it and no, I might forget. Yeah, manga guy is Lavos. Chrono's easily my favorite silent protagonist. He actually has, yeah, character, yeah, despite being silent. Yeah, like the whole game started with him. I shouldn't say the whole game, but like. Once, um. Mara went away with the. Through time, he picked up the Pengdon and is like, hey, I'm clearly going back in time to save this girl, so. 
You know, stuff like that. Yeah, crash into him. Yeah, like, it's supposed to literally be destroying the Epoch. You know, one of these days I'll play the DS version of this game. I don't know when. Second playthrough only gives you the bosses if you exit. Oh, maybe. I might just be. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking just like the New Game Plus Lavos. It doesn't dilly dally you with this business. But like the regular Game Pluses do. Regular Game Plus. You heard, you heard me. I did. One of my other Lavos, uh, one of my other Chrono Trigger streams did the Lavos song every time he showed up. That might have been back in 2017, 18. Hey, Ender's Channel, how you doing? How you doing tonight? Oh no, it's a uh, Giga Gaia. Help. I can use a Mega Elixir because I have 25 of them and I'm being lazy about it. Now then play the mobile. Oh, mobile Chrono Trigger. Mobile Trigger. Dark Plasma. Yeah, Smash Bros. is a Nintendo game, so celebrating their own IPs. Yeah, it definitely takes priority. Definitely. And is more profitable than, right, by extension, third party character. Well, they still worked out deals with other, you know, companies and stuff. But, like, the whole deal with Smash Ultimate, I thought, was, like, a pretty big, uh, was a pretty big deal. Square kind of wants to pretend Chrono Trigger never existed for some reason. Maybe not never existed, but they're oddly... Like, I don't think a lot of people would be upset if we could just play the Super Nintendo port of this game on, like, PS Plus, or... You know, even if you had to buy it on Switch or whatever. I think most people would be like, okay. Instead of it, the only way to, like... The only way for us to pay them money for it is through a sloppy Steam port. Lavos is just like this space traveling parasite. He kind of looks porcupine y a little bit, the shell. Well, yeah, maybe they did just plain lose the source code, and it's as simple as that. I don't believe Chrono Trigger is available on Switch anywhere. Shigu Jones, welcome to the chat. I always like the early ending, yeah, for how it left field, yeah, and dumb. Oh. Yeah, alien Crab plus Cell from Dragon Ball. Yes, also that part. Did... Wait a second. Did Ayla just kill Lavos with a, con a weakened, confused attack? I have to review the types. I think something silly just happened. I want to see it. Hang on a second, reviewing the tapes. Lavo's down, Ayla, number one. Will there never be an end? Ayla, no give up. But yeah, now we can just leave. If we want. <laughs> yeah, Ayla just did 132 damage and killed Lavo. Lol. Hi, Speedy. 
Yeah, you go over there, buddy. Get all comfy cozy, buddy. Android? I don't know. Here to wish Chrono Trigger, uh, Chrono Cross get a collection. Yeah, like Secret of Mana. They re-released Chrono Cross, like, a couple years back. I thought that meant Chrono Trigger was a shoe in but, like, we still don't have it. Yeah, Speedy, he's, uh, he's sitting next to me now. He was on my left. He's creepy. It's worse than Magus's place. Lavo smells stronger. But, yeah, we're gonna just leave on out of here. Yeah, Sly Cooper. Confused Ayla strong. Apollo Archery. Yeah, no, that's, uh... I've been- I've only been playing Amori on weekends anyway. And I'm gonna take a break from it for a bit. Due to how bone-cripplingly depressing the game is. Uh... Let's talk to this bucket again. And do another... Sweep through the Black Omen. Sweep number two. We gotta get the uh, the prism dress on Ayla, too. I didn't even do that. Uh, excuse me, Morty. I've just been playing different stuff on the weekend than I do throughout the weekday. I've been doing that for about a month now. Yeah, Prism Dress. Yeah, Cuts Magic Attack. By one third. Yeah. Maybe you should have the Prism Helm, actually. Let's do that. Right, this is the problem I keep having. Yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, how about I just do that, and then that solves that issue I keep having. Hey, Stone, come here. Moon armor's, like, better, but I don't want to deal with status business. So. That'll do. Oh yeah, there is a bonus ending in the... It's also in the Steam version. It implies Magus. Yeah, it really is that character in Chrono Cross. Yeah, Guile. I thought the devs came right out and said that Magus was supposed to be Guile. But... They decided after the fact that also addressing Magus' story amongst everything else was just, like, too much. Which I agree with to an extent. Like, they didn't really need to draw the line there. If that was the only connection to the previous game, and, you know, like, the Aussie stuff, I don't think that would have been... Uh, too bad. Are we specifically talking about whoever was in Radical Dreamers? I thought Guile was also supposed to be. Yeah, Majel. Hey, Alex, welcome back. Hey, Broody, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What? I, I've never heard that. Guile in Japanese Chrono Cross was Alf, which was hinting at Alphador. Janice's cat. Oh, the na oh yeah, the name would make sense as a nod, I suppose. Trip number two. Yeah, I don't have to fight that boss again. Yippee. Yeah, uh, Kira Toriyama did the artwork for this game. He did. Melox boy, how you doing? Have you been?
I thought Radical Dreamers was neat. It was a visual novel, but there were certain parts where there were, like, random battles, kind of. Like, once you knew how to deal with an enemy, you were, like, pretty well set, if I remember right. But, like, still, I thought it was interesting. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting the... Uh, the Queen two more times. Gonna get three Prism dresses for our trouble. Probably do the Black Omen twice tonight and then start doing some of the grinding to collect 11 cats in the game. Uh, which is gonna take a while. This run will probably take, I don't know, about an hour. Won't take as long as the first time through. Maybe, yeah, retconned with the Chrono Cross, yeah, Radical Dreamers release, possibly. You just seduce a laser turret, maybe. Yeah, I don't think I got any additional endings with the uh, Radical Dreamers when I played it. I think I just played through it the once and I was like, oh, that's neat. I would play it again. I don't remember being, like, super long or anything. A lot of reading. But... Yeah, maybe maybe I am Magus. And the chrono hair is a uh, red herring. It's red herring. See? You didn't get my play on words before. The Ayla is too powerful. Hey, thanks, Alex. Glad you like chilling out with the streams. Having a good time. Yeah, these panels are destroyed still, so you don't have to fight them again. Crazy day, man, it's Gauku. How you doing? Yeah, I know the extra ending from you know, Chrono Trigger DS, yeah, which happens with Megas. We'll say I always want another game with his map tactics. Yeah, not another Final Fantasy. Right, firing squad. Yeah, it's kind of strange they didn't do this again. Like, this is, you know, snappy, quick battle system. Functions similarly to how Final Fantasy works, but, like, just visually. You know, you just use whatever battle background you're on currently. Yeah, I like PS2. I tend to gravitate more to, like, NES to, like, N64, PS1 era, but I've definitely played my fair share of PS2 stuff. How was Gil in development? Then they retconned his connection further along, right? They're meant to be the same character. Everything about them's identical, just their names are different. Love this battle system. Isn't Guile, like... Is he still, like, black, uh, elemental? For some reason, I thought he wasn't, but I could just be wrong about that. Where he'd be Shadow here. I played I Am Setsuna. It's a lot of snow. I actually, I actually streamed that years ago. It was the first, it was the first game I ever streamed that was like donated to me. It loosely played like this. Yeah, fans want to tie them together, but nothing in the game actually, yeah, ties them together. Yeah, someone will Google. One, two, three, not a... Harv's bomb ties the game together. Hey oh. Got him. Yeah, it's gonna blink me to death. Oh no. Please, no. I don't want to get blunk. Make a Smash Bros. It's a hundred percent frogs. Yeah, Smash Frogs. Yeah, Battletoads. 
Frogger, this frog, the frogs from Final Fantasy, the frog status, those ones. I actually don't have any... No, I have Revive. Other frogs I'm forgetting about. Just your own wounds, Ayla. Yeah, singing frogs. Yeah, Valkyrie of Time. Uh, is there not a frog in Diddy Kong Racing? Maybe there's not. I was thinking Tipped Up, but no, he's the turtle. Yeah, save frog in the car. Oh yeah, the one in Donkey Kong Country as well. Yeah, lots of smash frogs. At the oh, Jean from Breath of Fire 2. How could I forget? Yeah, the four frogs from under... Ayla, stop it. Get up. Lazy bones. Frog Soup Mario, I'll, I'll, I'll count it. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Alright, anything but comedy. Thanks for stopping in. Enjoy your travels. I want to say it was implied, like... I don't know if they ever actually say it in-game, but like... For some reason, I thought I heard somewhere that it was implied that the royalty, like the royal family of Zeal, they like all dye their hair. I don't th know if there's anything in the game to corroborate that. But I heard it somewhere. Mexi Ghost Hunter 86, how you doing? Hey, this is one of the best games ever. Love it to pieces. Oh, maybe, Zan. I can't remember. But I can't remember, I really mean I forget. Watching from your PC, hell yeah. NES Zelda, I'm long overdue, like... I was playing NES Zelda on this program called 3D Send for a bit, but I, I never actually finished the playthrough. Zelda is always a struggle for me to play. Like, I can watch people play Zelda, but for me to play it, it's just really hard in my head. Now, I do have some uh, Zelda streams in my backlog, or in my back catalog, rather. Yeah, 3D Sen, exactly, Michael Mervin. That'd probably be a neat thing to use, like, in this format. Like, play through Mega Man 1 through 6, but then, like, do it again. Like, on 3D Sen, stuff like that. It's a cool program. Yeah, internet knows everything it does. Yeah, go on a giant mystical quest, all because your friend wanted to make a teleporter and accidentally a time machine.
forget what I forget which one I even stole from. Anyway, it's fine. Anthony Sanchez, how you doing? Hey, the higher piece kills. Hey, I'm glad you like it. I've had this thing for like ten years now. It's, a, it's held up. Worthwhile addition to the costume. Worst game I've ever played. Uh, Rise of the Robots on Super Nintendo is pretty bad. I assume other versions of that game are also just as bad. Isn't that the whole point of... I mean, I guess so. I guess, you know, Chrono meddling around with time was enough to kick things back on track. They didn't have to completely sever the alternate timeline. Q, you ever look in the mirror with the wig on playing old school Chrono Trigger and wonder how the fuck did I get here? No, I'm, I pretty well understand how I got here. I get what you're saying. However. Done sleep lurking, eh? Hope you had some good sleep lurking. Get some good sleep lurking done, Nick. Eh? Way too much. Oh, no logic. Oh, green of time, Majora's Mask. Oh, randomizers. Uh, done with tons of glitches. Getting a little sleepy, but I'm still gonna listen while sleeping. Showing support even when unconscious. Appreciate it, manga guy. Showing that support however you can. Helps out big. Yeah, Silver Surfer, no thank you. Soundtrack is lovely. Obviously, Julia, I am actually not Santa. I am an awfully young Santa. My beard's good. Mostly retaining its color. Dickie Jones, yeah, I put the red hair back on. I have taken it off between streams. Sans, how you doing? I just thought a game where one version of Chrono escapes with the time machine to avoid his fate. Uh, you have to track him down as a different Chrono to convince him to follow his fate. Nut up, other Chrono. You're gonna doom us all. Lyard protects them from all time, space, continuum fuckery. Yeah, so don't forget the Lyard. Yes. Thank you, Wizzy. Think you'll ever get back to Majora's Mask? It'll be a while. Like, it's been a while. It'll probably be even more of a while at this point. I'd probably revisit Ocarina of Time again before I attempted Majora's Mask again. I do believe. Only 13 speed tabs. I guess I could distribute some. Took the night off. Turn. Oh, you turned 40. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, Nick. Hope you're taking it well. You know, forging ahead. I don't think it lets me waste tabs. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. Well, yeah, you don't need the bandana, especially anymore. I'm not sure why you... I don't know, it doesn't matter. These two have 10 speed. Anyway, we'll swap out again.
I'm, uh, I'm hurdling there myself. 85, I'll be, uh, I'm sorry. 25, I'll be, uh, 2025, I'll be 40 myself. Time waits for no man. You're gonna wait till you're done for the night, ah, then me and buddy. Ooh, we're gonna have some zoomers, hey. Enjoy your trip. Yeah, and then we can get a couple hours of grinding for Chrono's cats. Yeah, we'll be able to we'll be able to put this away next episode, I'm pretty sure. I mean, even if we do, I can start new game plus. Not like a huge deal. Yeah, Tyre's demographics charts be wild and Yeah, they're they're a lot more all over the place than they used to be. My demo. What happens if you find the cats? Uh, I don't think it does anything as far as I can tell. Uh, I like I just like to do it though cuz Not a lot of people know about it, and <clears throat> I can't. It's hard. It's a hard thing for me to recommend because it takes so long, and there's no real payoff other than having eleven cats in your house. I mean, it makes the ending like a little funnier, I guess, but outside of that. Average age of my viewers. <clears throat> Probably like closer to the like 25, 34 demographic. Since I've started doing the vertical streams, I get a lot more like 18 to 24 year olds. But I still have a significant amount of 25 to 34 and 35 to 44 as well. It's more of an even spread between those three demographics. Whereas before it was more leaning towards like you know, 25 plus. Yeah, that too. Depends on the game and all that. The format... Uh, way different. Different audience. Yeah, do it for that 100% dopamine. For the most part, yeah. By and large. I mean, if I can keep going at this rate, maybe I'll get a hundred... Maybe I can get a play button for my 40th birthday. That wouldn't be too bad. So your game check. Shadow of Memories. I want to say that I have Shadow... Of De that was on PS2, right? I think I had Shadow of Destiny, if it's the game I'm thinking. I've never played it, but I think I own it. 1500, exactly. That's how many hit points they have. You should get 100 bucks from the game from that, because it's like the price is right. 1500 without going over. 100G. Then 747's the code in Star Tropic so you can operate the submarine at that one point. Rise up. I mean I may as well fight uh, fight these things. I could have maybe used magic if I menued fast enough. Like Frog already attacked. Not that it would have really mattered. How you doing, Brian Warlock? Remember the college of my town moved. It's kind of sad because it was nice to see, oh yeah, younger, more hopeful people sometimes. No, I hear you there. You can get a little jaded. Yeah, no, you're right. You can get a little jaded with a 35 plus crowd. No, I definitely get that. 
Where's the turn-based JRPGs? We're on the PS1. That was a great time to be RPG fan, the PS1. Well, they had Paper Mario and, like, Quest 64. Like, there was, I don't know, a literal handful of RPGs on the 64. It was pretty well dominated by PlayStation. Falcon hit. Oh, that actually swept them. Right under the rug. I don't know if that would have... I don't know, why couldn't it have worked? If I got Frog to attack the other time, hypothetically, I should be able to make that work. Advance Wars and... I don't know. There was an Ogre battle on the 64. There's a few other games, like Aiden Chronicles, which I hate. And, uh, Hybrid Heaven, which I also didn't like. I like Paper Mario, though. No, I, I totally hear you, Atari DC, coming. You know, speaking from experience myself. I mean, would I rather still be 20? Yeah, but, like, I'm not, so... You know, you make the most of them. So I can get how, you know, a little bit of jaded stuff can, you know, sneak out every now and again. Jaded cocoons. Jakey Johnson, kitty in a box, yeah. How you doing, Blue? Here, Messi, BCW, how you doing? How you doing, son? Yeah, same. I was, a, uh, I was a Super Nintendo kid. Yeah, Mario RPG was really good. Head to bed. Have a good sleep, Kier. Oh, maybe Fire Emblem did have a cancelled game. They were working on, you know, Earthbound, you know, Earthbound 64 or whatever. Uh, but that never happened. There's, like, a fan project that's trying to restore Mother 3 on, like, N64 hardware. I'd love to see it, uh, completed. Oh, I totally didn't re-equip Chrono's Gold Stud, did I? I don't know, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, okay. Alright, Kier. Enjoy. Like, there's no way we're gonna use all this crap, so, like, whatever. So, like, whatever, dude. Bruh. Alien pirate again gotta steal some more magical tabs. Or do those not respond? Really? Okay though. Whatever you say. I didn't remember those not respawning. Oh let's do that though. Chicken eater, yeah, rocking the hair, oh yeah. Am I ever? Jeroth, 1987, how you doing? Never beat Chrono Trigger on SNES. Had it as a kid, I always got lost. Should go back and try it. Oh, I, definitely. If you still have your Super Nintendo copy or, you know, whatever. It's definitely worth playing through again. You might have even more attention for it these days.
It was the party. Did you bring magical tabs? I have some magical tabs. Hey, David, how you doing? What I what did I have for dinner? I had I had a poutine actually. I had the hung I've talked about this a few times, but like I went to the truck stop. There's a nearby like truck stop that has a a poutine that has hamburger on it. It's called the Hungry Man's Poutine Special. That's what I had for supper today. So poutine for those uninitiated, it's fries with cheese smothered in gravy, but I also had half a pound of hamburger on it too. It's a good time. I'm playing on an emulator right now. I'm playing on the Messin S emulator. Yeah, Putin's great. It's one of my favorites. It's delightful. I've used that a SNES 9S X. I tend to use that SNES though. From what I understand, Messin S, the one I'm using right now, is a fairly hardware accurate emulator. For what it's worth. I would have just used that SNES for this playthrough, but it like it makes the For some reason it if I have the game on my 4K television. It looks like all washed out, but if I have it on my second monitor, it looks all right. So I just, uh, I just decided to try this other emulator for the stream, and the visual quality seems to be better. And I don't have to put it on my smaller screen, so that's why I went for it this time. Yeah, truck stop food, yeah, it can be fire sometimes. Lion J. I haven't had that. I went to. It's called like the Route One. It's just on, you know, on Route 1 Highway. But yeah, it has a, has a, makes a mean poutine. Yeah, the big boy has SNES emulator. Oh yeah, SNES similar emulators work for, yeah, Super Famigon. Well, I think so, as far as I'm aware. I haven't really played a lot of... Like fan translation or like Japanese titles. For whatever reason, like as as much as I've played RPGs on Super Nintendo, I haven't really dabbled too much on the Japan only stuff. Like Mother 3, that's like about a the T edition ROM hack technically, I guess. Not much else. I played, like, a little bit of stuff here and there. Like, I played a little bit of Treasure of the Rudras. Not really sure why I stopped. Uh, but I did. King B, how you doing tonight? PK Blue, what's happening? How many times did I beat this? From front to back, probably around ten times. If you want to count New Game Plus playthroughs, I couldn't even tell you. S Famicom, yeah, just found that 9X, yeah, seemed to have a bit more stability than SNES. From what I understand, ZSNES is literally, like, one of the worst emulators. But I use it, I tend to use it. Uh, still. Oh, my pretties, Destiny is most brutal form. Like, this emulator is pretty good. It's not too uh, labor intensive or anything. All the dirt. I ended up using it because I needed to for the Mother 2 Deluxe ROM hack. It just is more compatible with the game than like SNES 9X. Unless you have a very specific build or a ZSNES. Damn it, I should have put Magus in the party. I gotta remember for the next one. The next time through. I'm not sure why people hate ZSNES so much, but I think it just, over time, it's 
it hasn't been updated in a while, so it's compatible. It has compatibility issues, I guess. Hey, Jack of Spades, welcome to the chat. Hey man, just popping into the stream, wondering what favorite theme soundtrack. Oh, this absolute gem of a game. That's a tough one, because like... Generally, when I'm asked that, I would tell you, like, Lavos' second form, like, that music might be my favorite song, but, like, Magus's theme is definitely way up there. I also have a bit of a guilty pleasure enjoyment of, um... Of... Oh, excuse me. Of, like, the prehistoric dancing music. Or, like, you get the Red Rock and stuff. Will I stream Earthbound anytime soon? I probably won't stream it again soon. I actually just streamed Earthbound, like, a little over a month ago now. Like, I streamed it kind of recently. And I also streamed Mother 3 as well. I'd be more likely to play Earthbound Beginnings soonish. If I were to play one of them. Or even, like, Mother Cognitive Dissonance, like the fan game. It's a pretty good fan game. Speedy, don't. Oh, yeah, Earthbound gets weird for sure. Oh, Speedy. He's sitting on the couch in such a way that I'm worried that I'll hit keys in the keyboard and do something I don't want him to be doing. Like, it's a 680 overworld theme. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, with the windmill. All great choices, yeah, I think, yeah, like, top ten OS... Yes, yeah, this might be my favorite, uh, soundtrack in a game, like, seriously. At least for me, personally. No, I, I hear that. Big fan of Golden Sun's OST. I'm not super familiar with Golden Sun. I played it in high school, then I just didn't give it a second chance. But, I mean, I guess it's on Switch Online now. It's never been easier for me to play it. But yeah, Earthbound's, you know, classic. Love that game to bits. But yeah, I meant to put uh, uh, Magus into the party. We'll have to do that for the fourth, or the, the third trip through the Black Oma. Uh, we're gonna grind for some cats, though, tonight. Break it up a little bit. Girl Who Stole the Stars' favorite song, Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross, I would argue, might even have a better soundtrack than Chrono Trigger, but Chrono Trigger's is my favorite. Mitsuda was a... was an... You know, an audio wizard. A bonus for Golden Sun. Yeah, if you have the GBA copy in, you have to input some convoluted code, I think. Like an NES-style password system, effectively. Yeah, I should. I'll, I'll wind up playing Golden Sun again. I don't know when, but I'm sure I will. I get a lot of requests for it. And I mean, I don't have, like, a personal vendetta against it. How much of a difference is there in Chrono Trigger to Chrono Cross? They're very different games. If you didn't know the name of either game and played them both, you wouldn't know they're related. I'd be really impressed if you could tell that they were, you know, Chrono Cross is a sequel. For the vast majority of the game, at least. You Cretans. Yeah, the opening theme. Oh, Time Scar, is that what it's called? But yeah, the opening theme is just... So good. Right, yeah, Cross is my favorite, but yeah, I can't go wrong with either soundtrack. No. Definitely not. Yeah, sometimes you take whatever closure you can find in life. 
Yeah, I love this music. Oh, don't gate me with your sky. No, just use an elixir on Ayla. All the way, Ayla. I played a little bit of uh, Dark Cloud. Hey, Zut, how you doing? Thank you. I played a little bit of Dark Cloud, but it didn't hook me. I heard that Dark Cloud 2, though, has like a golf mini game type of thing in it, which makes me more interested in it. I mean, I guess steal another Mega Elixir. It is my favorite variety of Elixir, after all. Yeah, Master Hands. Yeah, EX. Master Hand, Crazy Hand. Today we, humanity, will invent a time machine. We'll actually go back and create a future. Yeah, where we get Chrono Break. It'll be a glorious day when that happens. Ooh, about get, getting ready for the weekend. Yeah, you got a long weekend coming up, too, eh? I certainly do. Dark Cloud 2 mixes photography, okay, with crafting. I got you. I love how Ayla charges up for the triple kick. Makes whatever noise that is. It's not even a cat noise. I don't know what it is. Doing 666 damage. Yikes. Uh, yeah, do that. And you also do that. And you Mega Elixir, and I think I won't die. We'll see. Yeah, Square could make Chrono Break now, but they're too busy uh, chasing NFTs. I know they were making, like, an NFT game, but, like, I don't... I don't know what the... I haven't kept my ear to the ground on that. I remember there being, like, a huge controversy. Maybe not huge, but... A lot of people were annoyed with them because they're like, oh, Symbiogenesis, that must mean we're getting more Parasite Eve, awesome. And it's like, no, it's a NFT game that has nothing to do with Parasite Eve. It's like, well, now that's, that's not what we were hoping for. We want another Parasite Eve. I think Parasite Eve would be a great choice for, like, a Final Fantasy VII-style remaster. It's not a terribly long game. You know, it would, it would also greatly benefit from the enhanced visual quality. Spur is only going to give us anything, yeah, Chrono, yeah, begrudgingly for some reason. Yeah, like how Konami has started making slot machines. Slot machines, Pachinko machines, gambling stuff. Konami's current CEO is crazy about gambling. Now we gotta have an elongated uh, Lavos fight again. Well, then. Lavos. Lavos. Sing along, everybody. Lavos. Lavos. That was the Lavos song. Oh, we don't have to beat his face up again. Lavos has whole... 
I like the way you said the. Will there never be an end? Hey, thanks for singing along, folks. All hail Lavos. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Godzilla Lavos. Run. Yeah, alien hedgehog. Well, at least you only have to do that once. I thought I was going to have to do that another two additional times. So is this like stomach acid we're on right now? Or like... Looks wet in here. Smells like Lavos. <laughs> DK banana. Yeah, when's Harv going to stream on Twitch so we can gamble our channel points? I wonder if Nightbot still accumulates, like, still counts channel points. Like, if I were to bust open Nightbot, catch a rare Mega Harve, uh stream on Twitch. Not overly common. Let's... Let's fight Specchio again. Like this. Yeah, and that, and... I don't know what else I want to give you. What do I want to give you? Like, your MDEF is maxed out. So, like, I also need to get, um... The gold rock. I don't know, sure. Fine. Uh, okay. Give this a try. Johnny Garibay, how you doing tonight? Sheila, welcome back. Random person, what's going on? Is it lagging for any- is it lagging for anybody else? For a little bit, okay. Yeah, I'm not adverse to an earthbound emoji. I feel like a Mr. Saturn is like a fairly like universal one, but there might be one that unless it's like Lardin a Minch's face. That would actually probably be more on brand. Pokey's mom. Hey Punkhead, where have you been? Looking for some practice? Yes. Yeah, fun to try a solo run a chrono trigger at some point. Yeah, maybe with Magus. Yeah, that would be cool, because he's one of the more unique members. Probably do that with like like a randomizer or something. Or you could just like shark them in, as it were, cheat them in. Oh, finish Mario RPG remake. Oh, right on. Beat the final boss, congrats. Yeah, I don't know. It looks right now like my bitrate is stable, but it maybe it's not. The number's still, like it hasn't frozen, so that's good at least. Yeah, maybe a star man. Look up PPF. Your David stream's fine. Okay. I could just spam mega elixirs, which are my favorite. I don't even need it. That's overkill. Just, just cast heal. We're well suited for this now. Yeah, Ness uh, Peace Pose, too. Good now. Alright. Hope we stay that way. I mean, I guess haste yourself, Maro. I mean, she does have the prism dress, so she's gonna be pretty tanky here. Oh yeah, homebrew. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Link team, what? why is the stream so weird? What do you mean? How is this stream any weirder than some other stream? Oh, video game cover music, okay. PPF. Yeah, how is the stream like this? Vertically oriented. If you vertically orient streams, they have a chance to show up on the short shelf, so that's what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's vertical. 
You could stream vertically on YouTube for the longest time. It just... It only just recently started showing up on the short shelf, which I personally am into. But yeah, it's only been a thing for like about a month. A little better than a month now. My thumbnail look like I'm disappointed. I'm yelling <coughs> because Chrono is yelling in the box art. I was doing my best Chrono impression. Yeah, the stream's being held up by an imaginary stepladder. There we go. Clean sweep. Yeah, it came from the shorts reel, I figured. That was most embarrassing. I'll make a habit of this here, this is for you. Hope it's not too intrusive for you. One magic tab, one speed tab, one power tab, and ten, count them, ten elixirs. So yeah, next form of Specchio, you gotta get the max level. I mean, we're close to level 60, but like, it really starts to... The experience table starts to get pretty stiff after a while. Um, let's go back to whatever it was that I said. 600 and get the gold rock, I think it is. Let's do it. And then we're gonna get some stuff for Chrono's cat. Start a whole Chrono cat family. But what we gotta do here now is get Frog in the front row, go back to the Middle Ages. You know where you have to go to fight Masa and Mune before you get, like, the broken piece of it. Well, you don't have to go all the way there, but you have to go to that dungeon. Never seen a vertical YouTube video. Oh, that wasn't a short, yeah. You're not surprised as well. Yeah. It is a little weird in the sense, like, but I want to watch a short video. I don't want to watch a live stream for hours. I think YouTube's on to something, though, with the uh, like, swipeable live streams. I want them to have that feature for, like, regular widescreen ones. I think they're onto something with that. Something about that just makes sense to me. It being more, like, disposable in that, for lack of a better term, than, like, how they would push a regular video. Oh, mom's phone is low battery. All right, Sheila, have a good sleep. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you have a good weekend. <clears throat> I mean, if the viewership's here, I'll gladly stream in this manner. But if left to my own devices, I would like uh, my widescreen stuff to get similar attention. I mean, I still do the odd widescreen thing. I try to drive track of traffic a little bit. Only so much I can do. Some people just don't really leave the shorts feed. That's just what they like to watch. So even if you do something off the shorts feed, it's like, well, I guess I'm not watching it then. And like vice versa. Some people can't be... They'd rather die than go into shorts. So just, you know, whatever your preference is. Yeah, you just gotta... I think you just gotta catch one of these rocks here. Yeah. I await the free Lancer. Starts glowing in Frog's hand. Got the gold rock. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to know to do that. I changed Frog, art I? Like, I get this is a relevant place for Frog, so like... I guess. That's like the only, like, hint to even... Like, I could see that you might come back here, and you might have Frog in the party. But even if he's in the front row, like, you're probably not gonna get hit by one of those rocks. But, anyway, we got it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. A strategy guide move. I'm sure a few people found it by accident, but, like, can't be too many. I like how we used to flip through channels, uh, yeah, on, you know, on air or cable TV. Yeah, it's YouTube is onto something. Yeah, I think so too. 
Yeah, I get consistently uh, around 100 views on average, so overall it's pretty good, yeah. Right, yeah. No, I, I hear you. Yeah, flip around, yeah, until we get hooked on something. Yeah, there's zero chance you'd know this organically. Right. I'm just kind of grasping at straws to be like, this is like the only... Like that you need Frog to do that here. Makes sense. But like, that it's what you're supposed to do with Frog isn't exactly obvious. It would make more sense to go back to where you fought Masa and Mune and for like the Gold Rock to be there or something. I would think. Oh, the Super Nintendo version, Link Team. A lot of cancer in the short spread. Short speed, yeah, especially these women think they're... Oh, dating experts. Yeah, now we're gonna... We're gonna try to get some... Cat food for Chrono's cat family, among other things. So we're gonna beat up Gato a lot. Him and his metal joints will beat him up and earn 15 silver points. Yeah, and if you get hit by any of the rocks and it does nothing. Like, why would you be like, well, what if I get hit by these rocks repeatedly? Like, you would have to specifically not like Frog. And just keep doing them. Did we ever actually introduce ourselves to... Mummy here? Yeah. Dear me, Mega, how many times I told you to keep your pets outside? You've met already. Madam, I am not a pet, though I am out of figure. I am a master swordsman. It talks. I just thought, I mean, terribly sorry, uh, Mr. Toad. My name is... Yes, dear? Toad will do for now. Hey, kitty. Almost every channel over a million subs tend to get the virus link. Oh, trap comment. Oh, yeah, channels. Is them being hacked from Google again. Yeah, that sucks. Big time sucks. Gracious, who are you? Me, Ayla. Ayla, young lady doesn't dress like that, dear. But Ayla, like, say yes, ma'am. Mega strong. Mega mother strong, too. Kitty. So yeah, there's no, uh, no cat food. Zero ounces of cat food. Yeah, my name is is Frog, actually, not Toad. How many times have I told you that? What happens if you name Frog Toad? I don't think anything. I've never tried it. Alright, okay, so first off, I think a good idea would be to have... We'll give you, like, the Berserker. Or whatever. And also make the battle speed one, which I don't think I did last time. Uh, but this should be faster, I think. Does Chrono have a haste helm on? Because he needs one. Okay. Yes. A4K47, how you doing? Game gives you. Yeah, Kira Toriyama actually did do the artwork for this. It's Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. So you're right on the money. Yeah, it caused so many catastrophes. I want to say you can only get 200 silver points at a time. Can I speed up the dialogue too? Surely I can. And by surely, I mean I guess not. That's fine. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, Kira Toriyama sensei. I wonder if naming Frog Toad is a Mushroom Kingdom joke. Possibly. Change my menu theme? Oh yeah, sure, Michael Mervin. Had the wallpaper for a bit. Got... Uh, I'll go with that one. I'll go number seven here. Yeah, now we're far enough in the game. 
Never got out Chrono, got prison, still back at the beginning. No one questioned the Chancellor. Yeah, it looked a little bit different, I guess. Yeah, they were just fine with the Chancellor being a total, uh... Total nut. Hey, no problem, Michael Mervin. Yeah, if only this game had chocobo wallpaper like FF6 did. If only. I'd probably be better off giving Chrono a weapon that crits less. It would make the fight go ever so slightly faster. Oh, nice. Got a purring boy. I got a sleepy boy next to me. He's not purring at the moment. Yeah, I'll actually give Mega a worse weapon. To... Yeah, that's fine. It's not like... Gato's gonna survive a hit of anything. So right now, Michael Mervin, I'm trying to get a bunch of silver points so I can get another cat for Chrono. Uh, Chrono's house, then I'm gonna get a whole bunch of cat food. When you get a whole bunch of cat food, you get more cats for Chrono. You can get up to 11 cats in your house. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. I do have that Goku haircut, sorta. Of. It's like, uh... It's the main character in this game, the Dragon Ball artist, did, did the artwork for this. Oh, Wanderer, how you doing? Look at that robot real closely. What about him? I mean, he's got like a loincloth on. Kind of looks like there's a Pokeball in the stomach. Yeah, crazy cat person, Chrono. What I want? There's no litter boxes either, so. Just saying. I think that's the fastest way to get points, though. Alright, let's get... Actually, that's funny you can't put someone different in front of the party in Norstein Beckler's tent. Is that another... Is that another hint I'm overlooking? Oh yeah, Lakuya, I've streamed Dragon Quest 1, 2... Uh, half of five with Karma Jolt, uh, eight and eleven. I still need to stream four. That's one of my favorites. These cats go outside. I hope so. For his sake. For silver points, would you like to pay? Eighty. Eighty of them. So this mini game is not that difficult once you understand how it works. You basically just do this. Just keep whoever it is from catching fire. Take this cat. There, now we have two kitties. Get two. So we'll go back. Normally I wouldn't go out through the front door, but we don't have any additional cats yet. So we won't, we won't reset the food counter. I think it's a glitch. We've got a Speedy and we got a Polly here. From Samurai Pizza Cats. Zero ounces of cat food. We're gonna fix that. By getting 80. 80 more points, keep doing that minigame. We're gonna keep getting more and more cat food. We'll check in again in about another half hour. So, so like I was saying before, if you, if you leave... I forget if it's if you leave Millennial Fair through the entrance or if you enter it or if it's both. It resets the cat food. I think I'm pretty sure it's a glitch. But if you leave through the time gate, it doesn't. So if you want to check your progress, you may as well uh, exit through the time gate. Why was the queen in that game tent? The Queen's husband. Egg's husband. Oh, you heading out, Sheila? Have yourself a good one. Yu-Gi-Oh! manga? No, never read it. I didn't watch a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the cats don't do anything. It's just a thing you can do. I mean, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything. Attention parrots. All unattended children will be given a free kitten, yeah, and an energy drink.
Yeah, I wonder how King Zeal came into selling cat food at a carnival. Me too. If that's my story, I'm sticking with it. But yeah, I think you can only get 200 silver points, so you're only really good to do so many Gato fights at once. I mean, I guess 15, 32, 64, 90, 6. As long as you go every six fights or so, you won't have any wasted motion, per se. Gamer Steve, this game's called Chrono Trigger. Came out on Super Nintendo originally. I am not. Physical only PS3 exclusive 3D dot game heroes. Never heard of it. What's that like? 70 silver points. Yeah, I'm getting... It's too bad that, like, once you get to the end of the game that you can't, like, just buy them or something. But, I mean, this is... Do you want to earn 11 cats or not? Hey, <laughs> Cactus. Yeah, it's called Chrono's Nipple, the glass cutter. King Zeal fell, yeah, on hard time portals, I guess so. We got 85 points, I believe, so. Let's do that mini game again, get even more cat food. You're gonna go pass out now, right, Shigu Jones? Thanks for stopping in. Have yourself a good weekend. Yeah, no worries, Cactus. Good. You know, you get that. When you're a parent, you get that sleep whenever you can get it. I don't blame you one bit. But yeah, if you're like really fast, you you don't even have to hit the the thing. Leave it at Mega's house so his cat won't run away. I don't think the cats can actually run away. I think that's just the thing that he says. I can't remember if there's any cats in Chrono Cross or not. Well, there's one. I mean, Lynx, but like, I get what you- like a house cat. I don't recall off the top of my head. So you said you basically have to wait to get a new cat? For every certain amount of cat food that you get, it just means that you'll get another cat. I forget how many cat food you need before a new cat spawns. I did a short about it. I have all the numbers in the short. But the main thing to know that when you're doing this is to not like exit and enter through the, the front entryway because it resets your uh, cat food count. So you're wasting time. Hey, Blue Supersonic. Yeah, great game. Pretty much, yeah. Be two e oh, two years old. Jeez, time flies. Growing so fast. Yeah, totally. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty soon I'll say your name legit instead of Game Man. Yeah, that'll be like one of those things you joke about with them, you know, when they get older. You know, so, you know, Mega Harv, he used, he used to be Game Man to you. Be like, Dad, it's so embarrassing. It's like, ah, it's funny. Come on. It was cute. Gonna head out now. Thanks for the stream. Hey, thank you, Michael Mervin. Have yourself a good Easter weekend. I'll catch you later. <clears throat> yeah, Lynx is too big and evil to be... Actually, cats are evil, so... Sure. <clears throat> Guess I just kind of assumed that there would be cats in Chrono Cross, but I, I cannot remember. Yeah, I already said that, yeah, to myself. Yeah, totally. But yeah, there's really no quick way to do this. Like, I guess you could... If you're... If you're to... Every time you're in the area, if you just kind of swung by and, like, got another cat, maybe it wouldn't be so, like... 
a tedious thing to do, but this this takes hours. Hours and hours. But we're doing it. Doing it, we're chatting. Sai Star, how you doing? Oh, we got uh, got some Chrono Trigger hair. It's a wig. This isn't actually my real hair. Yeah, who wouldn't want a cat? I certainly would want a cat. If I had more space, I would have at least one more cat. If not three. Speedy, Polly, and Guido Anchovy. I don't know if I could get away with calling a cat Guido or not. Uh, but Polly would be fine. Hey, welcome back, Brian. Oh, your son's asleep now. Right on. Hope he gets a good sleep tonight. Yeah, yeah, so, like, if you're just joining, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get 11 cats for Chrono's house. It's a cosmetic thing, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, but I want to do it. In order to do it, first you need to get... play the 80 points game. That's how you get a second cat. You can get cat food if you do any of these mini games twice. With like one character, you can just get cat food for Chrono's cat. And when you get a certain amount of food, you end up getting another cat. So you just gotta keep at it, and eventually you can get up to 11 cats. So right now we're just getting a bunch of cat food. If I remember right, Doing the 80 cat food game is the most cat food efficient way of getting it. And I think the fat, like the most efficient way to get more silver points is by fighting the robot. You get 15 silver points pretty quickly. Get clones and dolls for everyone too. Might as well. I'm going to focus on the cats right now though. I have a feeling I might have a might have a little spare time for the next stream that I do with this, which will probably be Monday. I think I'm gonna do Delta Traveler tomorrow. I haven't set it up, so like you might get a surprise Chrono Trigger if it doesn't work for some reason. But we'll see. It's eleven the max, as far as I'm aware. You can only get eleven cats. The 11th cat is actually quite interesting because, you know, Janice's cat, Alphador? Same color. It's another purple cat. Which I find interesting. Yeah, Brian, you remember, right? I was speculating about how Beckler is the king of zeal. There's a few in-game things that I point to to corroborate my theory. I'll go over that right now, too. So, like, King Zeal... Or, I'm sorry, Norstein Beckler's form is a head with two hands, and when you fight uh, Queen Zeal on the Black Omen, she's a head with two hands. If you get all the way to the end of the game without getting a clone for Chrono, Balthasar, who's from 12,000 BC, tells you, oh, you need to find Norstein Beckler. If you do, he'll, he likes festivals, so you'll find him there. So, like, how does Balthasar know about Norstein Beckler? Unless they're both from the same time period. There's also clones of all the party members. Not Magus, but like everyone else on the Black Omen. Who else has access to enemy clo to uh, party member clones? Norstein Beckler. It's kind of just interesting to me. That that much stuff lines up. Like, Norstein Beckler seems like, you know, just sort of a fourth wall breaking, you know, don't think too much of a character, and maybe he is. But like, I find all that stuff coincidental. If I'm not supposed to draw th these conclusions. Yeah, no, that's exactly right, Link Team. At the end of the game... All the... whatever cats you collect will end up going into the portal at the end of the game. I've also speculated that... I haven't actually counted. But that... that there's 11 cats throughout history. I don't know for sure. But like, I'm super curious if there is actually 11 cats in the game outside of like, Chrono's house. Because if there's 11 cats throughout time, we can... From there... Assume that... 
all the cats spread throughout time must be Chronos cats if he's in the time period where he gets 11. Like, I know there's a few around. Like, there's one... Like, I mean, there's Alphador. Then there's the one that you give to the girl. Uh, here. 120 silver points. Oh, there's the one that defeats Ozzy. I don't know. I won't be able to name 11 off the top of my head or even come close. It's something I'm curious about, though. Yeah, Beckler's a flat-out major mystery that Chrono Trigger left unresolved. Yeah, kind of thing. Like, he's sort of unassuming. You don't really have enough to, like, really prove anything concrete. But I just find this stuff, like, you know, it's just interesting coincidences. The live stream under mine is literally some girl uh, sleeping. Yeah, naming my first child Norstein Beckler. Yeah, man or woman. Yeah. He had a oh, I didn't know he actually had like a brain tumor. I just heard he had a subdural hematoma. I don't think I like what I've probably done to my side of the algorithm. Hopefully that I can help at least guide you towards like gaming stuff instead of, you know, People sleeping. Yeah, Heavy G. This is for Super Nintendo. The Super NES system. Could have saved Ayla all the way, Ayla. So yeah, once we get to the, once we get to three o'clock, to talk. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Once we get to the top of the next hour, we're gonna check up on progress with the cats. So 120, so I guess we're at 40. What takes the longest here is like if you didn't have to wait for Gatto to sing his song to you, if you could just run out and get the silver points, this would take shave like I don't know a half hour off. That, I'm, I'm sure I'm exaggerating a little bit. Right, yeah. One thing I hate about shorts. Then more, it's more than two seconds to see what a short is about before scrolling past YouTube is like, Oh, you love this content, yeah. Oh my goodness, you watched like an eighth of this ten second long short. You must love this content. No, YouTube. No. It's not what I meant. YouTube is starting to get it through its head that I like to see cat videos in shorts, though. So that's good. Yeah, he really is King Zealy, and he can't be Nefari. I can't remember if he's in Chrono Cross or not. For some reason, I'm, like, picturing him in my head, but, like, I don't know where he would even be. Sea of Eden, maybe? Yeah, you, uh, yeah, YouTube AI for you. Chrono Cross on Steam. Oh, kind of sucks. It's an upscaled emulator. Yeah, Radical Dreamers, you gotta be in a... kind of a certain mood to play, though. Like, exclusively like a visual novel. days that shorts were broken. Kept playing the same songs. I think I'm back now. No, my my internet definitely was the problem there for a second. Oh, oh Ayla is just a willing participant. She's like, yeah, sure, you can save me from being thrown into this fire.
Yeah. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did anyway. It might be on both of our ends. <clears throat> oh my heavens. Uh, the over here yawning and stuff. I do know English. Najarash, Appa, welcome to the chat. Lionel Slayer, how you doing tonight? What's with the red hair? It's the same red hair that the main character of this game has. It's his outfit. I am cosplaying, but I have a beard. Whereas this character does not. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a clono over here. Uh, this game's called Chrono Trigger. Uh, it came out on the Super Nintendo in 1995. Yeah, that's what I understand too. Dislike button is like a trick per se. If you... <clears throat> YouTube's like, oh my heavens, look at all this engagement this video's gonna... <laughs> yeah. Definitely overthinking this, but yeah, the inside of Norseen Beckler's, yeah, is bigger than the outside. I don't blame you for overthinking that. But yeah, that's probably just, you know, video game logic, more so. Yeah, it's funny, because, like, you know, you can hit the dislike button, you can't see how many dislikes there are unless you have an extension. Uh, but still drives traffic. Yeah, additionally, Harvey occasionally grows that red hair while playing Chrono Trigger. Yeah, this game is really well made. Hey, thanks. I've wanted to stream God of War, but I want to do, like, a legit Cro uh, Kratos cosplay if I do. Which would require, like... Painting my skin gray and like have like the red streak and stuff. It would be a it would be a bit of an effort. What about French? Can you speak Quebecois? Eh, petit peu. Like I know a little bit of French, but like I couldn't hold a conversation in French. I do know est que je peux aller aux toilettes, s'il vous plaît. Oh yeah, I could use a bald cap. That could help. Help for some of it. I actually have a bunch of diatomaceous earth that I was thinking about using for that purpose. The hard part would be, like, like I would still have to use like makeup for my eyelids and stuff. But I could probably do the bulk of it. Assuming it didn't clump off when I went to paint. I mean, unless I painted the red part first, and I don't know. I haven't thought. It would take forever to... I mean, if I only just had, like, my head exposed and, like, no shirt on, like, I might not have... It might not take as long as I think. Ann K, how you doing? Valentino, you watch your mouth. Voice actor plays Kratos is perfect. Yeah, he's also... Oh, Tel from Stargate. I had a poutine today, which is fries uh, with cheese on top, smothered in gravy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna go play Trimps. All right, Link Team, enjoy. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, he was typecast, was he? That guy who was typecast as a guy who hates gods. 
Yeah, Canada's national dish. I mean, it's it's one of them. It's very commonplace in Canada. If you go if you go somewhere that serves fries, you can pretty much bet there's going to be poutine. Bare minimum fries and gravy. A nickel dumb. I don't know. I don't play Clash of Clans. How you doing, Reggie Player One? Hope you're feeling better tonight. Darius Chase, how are you? Thank you for the lard. But yeah, poutine is so good. I, I actually had one today. I had what I just described, fries with cheese and gravy smothered on top, but I'd also had half a pound of, like, hamburger on it. Like, ground hamburger. Oh, man. So good. Oh, because <laughs> I fell in, oh, fell in love with the Quebecois. He was so handsome, but he was also a jerk. Hey, Joshua Sandoval. Hey, thank you, thank you. Glad you liked the hair. Yeah, Costco food court, they do. Yeah, sell chicken wings and poutine, that's true. Poutine, 100%. I know you can get, like, buckets of chicken from the Costco up here. I assume you can also get wings, but I have had their poutine. That I can confirm. Oh, the st YouTube is willing to let the stream play. Oh, pitcher and pitcher. Nice. I'm not buying what you're selling. I think of poutine as a winter dish, yeah, because of the winter. Yeah, you tend to think of, yeah, heartier foods, right. Totally. Stuff that sticks to your ribs. What a shiny two toy today. Ooh, a new drill, right on. Got it for a, got a project you're going to work it, work on with it. Yeah, it's always winter in Canada, though. That's why it's so common up here. I don't really play Pokemon. I have nothing against it, really, but, like... I just didn't play it growing up, and now I just still don't really play it. Yeah, let's hear a better joke. But yeah, right now, if you're just joining, I'm trying to get cat food for Chrono's cats. You can get Chrono 11 cats if you want. It's mostly just, like, a decorative thing. And it makes something different with, like, one of the endings, I guess. But you can play through the whole game and have no idea that you can do this. Hey, Rusty, yeah. Yeah, I think of Putin as gained two pounds now. Yeah, that's not too far off. Cheese, gravy, fries, like... It would give a cardiologist a heart attack if you told them about it, but... They're good. Play World of Warcraft. Oh, your guild is full of a bunch of Canadian dudes. Always talk about Putin. Yeah. Gravy on fries and cheese. Cheese is an essential component to the Putin. If the Putin doesn't have fries and cheese, it is 100% not a Putin. 99% of Putins, though, also need gravy. The exception to this, though is if you make a breakfast poutine, if you have home fries, cheese, and, like, hollandaise sauce. Yeah, you need fries, at least fries and cheese. And, like, a topping. Like gravy. Like I said, a breakfast poutine can have hollandaise sauce on it. But yeah, typically fries, cheese, and gravy. And whatever else you want to put on it. I've had a veggie poutine before, and it wasn't great. I just don't think it was great where I got it. It was like an overnight. I went there like after the bar, like in Ontario somewhere. 
And, like, the only reason this even came up was, like, the group that I was with at the time, there was, like, a vegetarian in, like, the group. And, like, their veggie, their veggie poutine, like, they made it in the same fryer as you made, like, the other stuff. So it was, like, I guess it was vegetarian, but, like, not vegan. Because it would be, like, cross-contaminated with, you know, meat stuff. But, I mean, you could do a veggie poutine with, like, vegetable gravy. Oh, Mexican. Oh, closest we have, yeah. Asada fries. What are asada fries? Oh, chili cheese fries are not the same. Yeah. Putin is better. I agree. Why does everything to say being with you? Let's really give the cardiologist a heart attack. Cook the french fries. Yeah, in lard. Then add gravy. Then, yeah, and cheese your cardiologist. Yeah, finds out. Yeah, he'll code blue himself. Yeah, what would Harvey yeah, talks about Putin? I love to eat poutine, that's, uh, everyone wins. But yeah, like, depending on who you talk to, though, it's not actually a poutine unless it's cheese curds. I'm not that much of a poutine snob, like, I am happy with shredded cheese on a poutine. But you tell some people that you had shredded cheese in a poutine, like, they'll damn near slap you. I'm being slightly hyperbolic, but like... There are definitely Canadians who are like, no, no, if it's not cheese curd, it's not a real poutine. Like I said, I'm I'm fine with shredded cheese. But uh do the do the cheese curds. Bryant's Ross, does the carpet match the drapes? Uh yeah, they're all spiky. Yeah, invade Canada and listen to Rush. You can come in on the YYZ to boot. Excuse me a second. I mean, I could have muted that. Do I have a cheese preference? Like, not really. Like, generally, if I'm going to have a shredded cheese on a poutine, usually it's cheddar. Uh, but cheese curds are usually just kind of like a white cheese. I don't know if cheese curds are, like, supposed to be a specific kind of cheese or not. But, like, some of it's kind of squeaky, cheese curds. But yeah, if left on my own devices, I'll use, like, a cheddar, shredder cheddar. Seriously, David? I didn't hear about that. The Canada is running out of maple syrup in their national reserves. Putin snob, show me uh, where I can get cheese curds if I want to make it. Yeah, until then, kindly keep that opinion. Yeah, you got to improvise. It's hard to find cheese curds in Canada, I find. Like, I have to go to, like, the deli section and go where there's, like, fancy cheeses. Like, I, if I go to the superstore and I just go to the regular cheese aisle, I can't find cheese curds. I have to, like, specifically go to the deli. And even then, like, it's it's not like there's... It's like falling off the shelves. It's usually like eight or nine bags of cheese curds. So like I would say like maybe try a deli. You might be able to find cheese curds, but your mileage may vary in the States. I don't know what other recipes typically include cheese curds. Yeah, you could, I suppose, if you got, like, like those uh, peelable cheeses or something, like the cheese sticks. Yeah, you could, like, makeshift some curds that way. Yeah, I like mozzarella. I used to I used to eat more of mozzarella when I was a kid. Lucy Orozco, welcome to the chat. Hey, remember playing that once. Chrono Trigger, I love this game. Hey, BF Anime, how you doing tonight? I've been playing for about four and a half hours now. Hardy Fox Games, how you doing? Yeah, cheese curds are pretty expensive. But no, the first time I made a poutine myself, I was in, like, the cheese aisle for way too long before I finally found it, like, like, kind of, like, next to the, like, wall, per se, like, in the refrigerator. What am I doing?
Apparently the reserve's down to like six million pounds. Down from like hundred million. That's odd. I have to assume that was like COVID driven somehow. With like supply chain issues. It's like I'm pretty sure we have the same amount of maple trees. Well, have something in mind, but I don't know if it's the same as what you're talking about. Uh, it could be linked, linked team. I don't really know for sure. It is, yeah, that's not hard to find in the U.S. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've never tried to look for it in the States. I've had French-Canadian fries in Maine before. Which is a poutine. It wasn't the, the most Canadian poutine I ever had. It was, it was it was a bit of a sad Putin, but A for effort. I guess if you want a real Putin in uh, the states, like Louisiana is a good spot. Like places that serve like Cajun food, you can find Putin. I guess. Maybe more specifically, like Acadian Acadian pockets. Mersh, how you doing? Um, no Hablo Espanol. According to Walmart's website, my local Walmart has cheese curds in stock. Yeah, but hell if I can find them. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it might be just one of those things that's like, yeah, we have them. Then you go there and they're like, no, we don't. Because it never got updated because no one ever buys them. Ooh, mac and cheese as a side. Yeah, immature tastes are best taste. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, cheese curds or cheese. It's not all the way done yet. Build a birdhouse every spring. Ah, oh, I've been doing it since the start of COVID. Oh, right on. Never stopped. Currently have built six birdhouses. Nice. So that's what, uh, gonna use that for the drill, eh? Good move. Good call. Oh, cottage cheese. I... I don't know how a poutine would be with cottage cheese. It might be okay. I wouldn't typically put cottage cheese on a poutine, but... Damn it if I'm not at least a little curious now. I, I'll make one on stream every so often. I don't do it like a ton, but like... I've done it a few times. Just make a poutine and then just sit and chat for a bit. I should probably cycle in more, like, cooking streams, or if nothing else, like, cooking segments in my streams. Because, I mean, you know, food's good. I've got to get up in two hours for a flight to Utah. Get some rest and probably see you in the morning. All right, BF anime. Have a safe flight. I'll catch you later. Oh, I'm playing Chrono Trigger. It's for the Super Nintendo. Oh, the chat's acting up again, Reggie? That's a pain. I see, there we go. I had to post it three times. Uh, for some reason, you weren't getting it. I don't know. I mean, I might have missed it, too. I don't know. But I did eventually read it. Yeah, yeah. So he has a French-Canadian. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Calice Tabernac. Oh, so busting out the nasty uh, French swear words. Hesty. Oh, Walmart, how can I help you? Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yes, we do. I should make a vid of taste testing a bunch of different cheese. I should do that, David. You're right. Do cottage cheese, do, you know, cheese curds, do shredded cheese. I might actually do that, David. Just the idea of cottage cheese on a poutine is very intriguing to me. I know we like, yeah, 50, yeah. Exactly zero. Did the taco mac and cheese. Oh, occasionally work that in my rotation. Nice. Only had pico di... di what's that? It's like a spice for uh, Mexican food. But no, I like... Uh, I'll have cottage cheese. Like, I'll dip it in... Um, Oh, 
My stream's lagging. I'll dip cottage cheese in, like, Tostitos. That was something I used to eat a lot, especially when I was, like, wrestling. Just sit down, eat a whole tub of cottage cheese and, like, a bag of uh, Tostitos. Yeah, not allowed to swear at work, so swear at Japanese. Make a big plate of poutine in this part. Yeah, has cheese. That part has that cheese. You have like a four cheese. Let's do one with cream cheese on it. I'm actually getting hungry thinking about this. I could probably come up with like seven different poutine, like with seven different cheeses. Like do cottage cheese, cream cheese, curds, shredded. And other cheeses I'm not thinking of. I don't know if I'd go so far as to just put a big old brick of cheese. Like, that'd just be unwieldy. I could try, like, American cheddar. Like, the processed stuff. For good measure. We could definitely make this happen. Oh, makes you want fondue. Oh, pico de gallo is basically an uncooked salsa. Oh, okay. Little tomato, onion, jalapeno, pepper. Okay, cilantro, a little lime juice. Yeah, sparks it up a bit. Gotcha, gotcha. Pico de gallo. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. I gotcha. Ah, one more, all right. Okay, after this next batch of cat food, we're gonna check up on Chrono's cats. See how many we have? I have no idea. Vicky Cordyceps, oh no, you're emitting many toxic spores in your local atmosphere. I mean, you are a... You are a gay mushroom now, so... I guess that is what they do, so hey, right on. Living your best life. Yeah, I could get... Yeah, I could get other, like, cheeses too, I suppose. Even if it is, like, shredded or what have you. Matzah, Gouda, stuff like that. Yeah, not Cordyceps, not the Last of Us fungus. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot of cajoling to get me to gush about Putin. There must be, like, a seafood poutine I could make. I don't think I've ever... All the bugs are being mind-controlled by you now. Nice. So, like I was saying earlier, don't go out through the front. Or enter through the front. If you're doing this, always take a time gate. Time gate, especially if you're doing it this late. Time gate to the end of time. And then fly the epoch back. Ayla, you're on frog sword. You might harm us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why are we just breaking them open as- Oh, can I actually not? Well, fine, we'll do this then. This is fine. We'll go about it like this th Can we actually? Surely. Maybe I goofed. Maybe I done goofed. I don't know if I can go back to Hecran's house. Oh, yeah, we blew up the Black Omen. We're good. Wait a second. I thought spell I thought it said heck rain cave for a second. Yeah, stream's being a little janktastic at the moment. I think we're back now. My broadcast software crashed again. I don't know why it's crashing all of a sudden. Jump in. But I believe we have returned. Need to refill my Wi-Fi. That makes that makes two of us. Oh, but yeah, whatever you do, don't go in through the front. I guess I should be. Uh... I don't know. I think I might. I think I'll figure it. Out. Anyway, we got two cats here. We got yeah, we got five cats total. Look at them all. Five kitties, got 57 ounces of cat food. Good kitties. 
We got all of these kitties. We got five kitties. We're halfway there. Cool gamer kid, how you doing? Are we really gonna get all the kitties tonight? Like, if we still have another full hour. If we could do that and another blackout, maybe it'll be worth- maybe I can do this tonight, though. Yeah, no, this makes the most sense. Because then I can just take the... Yeah, alright, we're good now. Just leave the Epoch here. Solves all our problems. No. Why can I never get this right? I ran for- oh yeah. Fortress. Lean square, there we go. Doing alright, cool gamer. Alright, on Force Ghost Robo. Yeah, video about betas and FF7 helped you. Glad to hear it. Fun fa- yeah, fun fungus facts. Psychedelic mushrooms are a possible cause- I've heard about that. Of sentience in humans. Yeah, I got five cats, you can get eleven. But yeah, if we can get them all... We might be able to put this away tonight and not, like... Overdo it. Like, without overextending myself. But we'll see. Then we can do New Game Plus stuff on Monday. Yeah, back with the red hair. Yeah, let's bust this gato robot open like a pinata. But yeah, this is a thing you can do if you want. Not the most exciting thing, because there's, you know... If you get bored, you could just, like, turbo controller the, the drinking minigame, probably. I assume. I don't know if you can, like, save scum the races. Even then, I don't think that's really faster. But if you can do the... If you can turbo controller the... The guzzling game and you're, like, multitasking, that's probably the best use of your time. But I did crank battle speed up to max. And I have the Berserker on Chrono, so... This battle, at least, is as fast as it can be. I don't have to menu at all. Cool gamer. This game's called Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Nick, yay, shroom. It's called Chrono Trigger. It came out on the Super Nintendo in 1995. One of my personal favorites. How did I not realize that Gato also has cat ears? Like, look at those. I guess Gato is Spanish for cat. And... I guess in Japan, this character's name is Gonzalez, who's named after a, a famous boxer that was really big in Japan named Gato Gonzalez. I thought I had a point, but I'm like thinking, no, Speedy Gonzalez is a is a mouse, but I have Speedy the cat next to me. Oh, that, okay, cool. Retro achievements is not considered turbo buttons cheating. Probably for the best. Like, it's, you know, marginally time-saving. I'm not really about that time-wasting achievements anyway. Like stuff like grind to level 99. It's like, I would prefer not to, usually. Unless I just kind of can without a lot of effort just naturally playing the game. Yeah, I never doubted he was supposed to be a cat robot. Yeah, would he... Would he count as one of the 11 cats? I mean, he does at least look a little different from the time they go through the portal, but, like, I don't know what Luca did to... Maybe this is, like, a cat-robot chimera 
that Luca repurposed before the stream st the uh, the game started, rather. So if I ever go through and actually count all the cats, we'll I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, the only thing worse than something time-consuming is something that's RNG. And the only thing that's worse than that is both. A time-consuming RNG fest. Yeah, Luca removed the cat's brain and put it into this robot. Wouldn't rule it out. We don't know what kind of mad scientist, scientist stuff Luca got into. We saw what happened to her mom. We did course correct on that. But... And I mean, Ayla's running around like a cat. Does she count as one of the cats? We can actually do two, uh, do a two for one special. Yeah, we're gonna use Star Trek Online. Pretty much any online game like that. That's what happened to the 12th cat, I guess so. Yeah, Ayla is a cat. She sure acts like one. I mean, she's got the cat loincloth and runs like a cat. I mean, she has a move cat attack, I'm fairly certain. So I think that's all the proof we need. I get a little lost in the weeds when I start platinum chasing. Because sometimes I'd be better off if I just left two or three trophies be. But I'm like, but I want that platinum though, I'm so close. And sometimes that'll make me like not enjoy the last few moments of a game. Depending how tedious a trophy might be. The only miss in the ears. I mean, she's got a lot of hair though, maybe those are covering it up. Stop it, internet bid rate. I think it's raining out. I don't know how much that really matters. We got the plat for Armored Cord 6 right on, David. That's the FromSoft one, isn't it? That was probably a pain in the earth. ayla has got a lot of hair. Rockman, Mega Man, Kanichiwa. How's it going? if that means by default the royal family is cat people. I hope so. I mean, if you play the game Evo, apparently to make a human you need to have like a face of a cat and a body of a rabbit, so... Maybe it's that. I've never played Evo. Myself. One of the few games in my Super Nintendo collection that I wouldn't mind having, but has eluded me. But I also don't want to spend, like, a trillion dollars on it, either. It doesn't mean that much to me. 100% of three games on Retro Achievements. Uh, one of the most Flappy Bird on GBA. I didn't know there was any Flappy Birds on GBA. Yeah, FromSoft's mech game. A lot of fun. I only had three little annoying missions. Oh, that's not so bad. For the last trophy. I think I got all the Steam achievements for Final Fantasy VII. I think I did for a couple games. But at least seven. I got Plaid in a Sekiro from some, from so Wasn't even really going for it. Oh, it just you just so happened to get it. Only Plaid you got on Steam. Xander TDM, welcome to the chat. How you doing tonight? Yeah, cool gamer. His belly does look like a Pokeball. Certainly does. Helping a customer with internet issues. They're paying $60 a month for 6 Mbps. Yeah, now they pay 30 for 300 That's... The crappy internet you have to put up with some places, huh? But yeah, that's way better. Doing good, glad to hear. Oh, speaking of Evo, still have semen. Neh. And Dreamcast on my attic. Yeah, even have the Dreamcast microphone for that game. Never played it, but... Yeah, if you haven't heard of the game Seaman on the Dreamcast, it's a game where you have to talk to a sentient fish that has Leonard Nimoy's voice. 
and you just talk to it. There's other stuff you can do in the game, but like, a big part of it is you talk into the microphone and just have a conversation. It'd probably be like a fun, wacky, kind of like one-off stream type of thing. See, man. Oh, the Stanley. I've heard of the Stanley Parable. I've never played it, though. I've heard it's good. What would I rate this game? Probably 10. 10 out of 10. Solid 9.5 out of 10. This is one of my favorite games ever. I don't really have a lot to complain about it. The only thing that I have that I really want to complain about in this game, that I only just realized, is that if you're damaged, and you're in the prehistory part right before you do like the soup drinking competition with Ayla, after all that happens, you don't recover any of your HP or your MP. And that annoys me. You could argue that they're hungover, and that's why they didn't recover anything, but... I think they just messed up. Not a huge deal, but, like, if that's the only thing I have to complain about... I mean, there's some, you know, some slight type of... All in all, pretty solid. Like, I mean, I don't know if Chrono Trigger isn't a 10 out of 10 for me, what is? Like, I couldn't quantify why I would put this below, like, Final Fantasy VII or, like, Earthbound. That, that'd be a hard thing for me to articulate. I don't know how stream-friendly that game would be. Is there are points where it pretty much tells you to stop playing the game for a while. What, Stanley Parable? Or, uh... Seaman? Oh yeah, Leonard Nimoy is the man. Did South Park have an episode about something Seaman? Probably. Oh yeah, I'd recommend this game for sure. Yeah, very close to a perfect game. Yeah, but your mileage may vary if you aren't into retro games. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you hate this, just the style of game, like, graphically and stuff, like... There's not much I can do to change your mind on that. But if you're into this style of game at all, then you'll probably like it, okay. Oh, Seaman, yeah, yeah, if I have to stop playing for, like, days at a time. I've heard of CrossCode. I actually had a video of it shown to me recently. Doesn't look bad. I'm sure it's a fun enough game. I saw it on my Discord. I do have a Discord. If you're into that sort of thing. I'm gonna go to bed now. Alright, cool gamer. Thanks for stopping me. That's generally the best way to get a hold of me outside of a stream if you need to for whatever reason. Crosscode is really cool. Okay, I never finished it, but really want to go back and give it another try. Yeah, like, it seems a little more, like, action-oriented than, like, I lean towards, but, like, look, looks good. Nothing from what I saw that made me be like, ew, this game's gross. It's just... It's not my exact type of game style that I grab it. I'm more, like, in my element with the uh, turn-based RPGs. Speedy? No. I can see it. I can see the wheels turning in your kitty brain. No. Do that if you must. Speedy's thinking about jumping on my air purifier, and I don't want him to do that. I can see the wheels turning in his brain. His little cat brain. Yeah. That, Mega Man Legends. Lots of stuff. Hey, they give her the speedy emoji. I got some cattail. All up in my face. Schlad Lad, how you doing? Yeah, th this is Chrono Trigger for Super Nintendo. It's the same people that did Final Fantasy. And by extension, Dragon Quest in this specific instance.
Ray with his biggest issue not being 2.5D. Ah. It's how many times he uses elevation. Oh yeah, Child of Light, blood, Bloodstained. Yeah, I really don't know why I haven't played Bloodstained yet, especially. Ooh, Acid Fruit Loops, eh? Banging out Rebirth currently. I've been, pl I've been playing Rebirth off and on. I'm at... I just got the Dune Buggy. I'll get back to it eventually, I just... I don't have spare time right now to, like... I like doing the open worldy kind of stuff offline. But doing like the more storyline related stuff, streaming that. I kind of need to focus up with these vertical streams anyway. Speedy. He's he's thinking about getting on my air purifier. But he, he can feel it blows straight up, so like if he goes to stand on it, he can feel the you know, like the breeze. So I think that's deterring him a little bit. Crosscode is, feels like a lot, like a much, much more difficult Zelda game. Oh, they're like kind of puzzly too. I don't want you. No, no, I don't feel like you're pressuring me, David. It doesn't hurt to remind me of stuff though, because like maybe I'll actually play one of these games eventually. Yeah, enjoy watching you play. Yeah, whatever you feel like. No, I appreciate that, David. I really do. And like of all the things you recommend, like the fact that I haven't played Mega Man Legends is a little silly. Because I've streamed, like, most other Mega Man games. Like, all the main classic and X series, and the Zero series, and half the Battle Network games, and... Fan games. Not Legends. The one that's, like, RPG-like. That's Speedy rubbing up on the mic. Isn't it, buddy? Speedy saying hi. Hey, welcome back. Oh! Mateus woke up and had to rub his back. Oh, to help him fall back asleep. Hey, I hope his... At least he's all back to sleep and... Hopefully he continues to have a good sleep tonight. Oh, Four Heroes of Light. I've seen a little bit of that game. It seems a lot like, I don't know, Final Fantasy 1, but like a, a like a NES Final Fantasy... Like, spin-off type of thing. If I understand right. Yeah, just being a big baby. But yeah, I haven't played Legends in forever. I have Mega Man 64. And I have Legends 2 somewhere. I don't know where it is. I also have Misadventures of Tron Bone. They need to just put them all in a collection already, but then they'll be like, no, no, they might people might want us to make Legends 3, and that's the last thing we want. To do what our fans want. Heaven forbid we get Mega Man Legends 3. I mean, it, mean, it doesn't mean anything to me, but like, I know there's a lot of people who are like, where's Legends 3? Hey, Lord Drip, thank you, thank you. Shout out to the Mega Hive channel and community. Good content. Appreciate it, Lord Drip. Yeah, a lot of yeah, Final Fantasy spin-off games are ass. All the DS and Wii Final Fantasy games are straight dude. Oh, I've heard about Altros. Yeah, awesome, awesome art design. I heard the name Altros, because I'm like, ooh, don't tease the octopus kids, but I don't think it's like I don't think there's an octopus involved, like even a little bit. Oh, it's like Bravely Default Zero type of thing. Lots of obscure puzzles, paths, dash of bullet hell, four elements. Okay. Some dungeons to do. I could not get into Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I couldn't get into it playing it on game. Yeah, I know. I knew enough that, like, Legends 2 was left on a cliffhanger. So, yeah, that is crummy to do that. I agree. I played a fair bit of Strangers of Paradise 
Which is amazing, because, like, I was screaming at the game, like, the entire time. I think I just simply put... Well, I shouldn't even say that, because, like... I liked Final Fantasy XV. Like, for what it was. It's like, it's not even that they're action-y, so, like, I don't know. Although my preference is turn-based, or at least active time battle. But I mean, you give me a battle system that's like Earthbound or like Dragon Quest, I'm happy. Yeah, Strangers of Paradise, yeah, I didn't even have a world map. Zero out of time. For a game that was supposed to be a remake of Final Fantasy 1, it definitely should have had a world map. Rumors that Capcom had made about 80% of Mega Man Legends 3, and then for some unknown reason, Capcom cancelled it. I thought the unknown reason was to spite Kiji and Afune. When they cancelled, like, five other Mega Man games, or four. There's, like, a Metroid... Oh, I don't know what the deal is with the Metroid Prime-looking game. But they're gonna have some game that was called... I want to say it was called Mega Man Unlimited. It would have been Mario Maker before Mario Maker. Which I think is really stupid of Capcom, in retrospect, at least. Because Mario Maker is huge. And if they were, like, the first on the scene with that... I mean, they kind of were with Mega Man Powered Up, but, like... But to have, like, a, a whole game like that, they could have cornered the market on that. Yeah, Legends 3, and... I thought there was a couple others. I thought... I want to say there's, like, some sort of... Not necessarily MMO, but, like, some sort of online Mega Man game, too. They cancelled a bunch of Mega Man projects all at once. Yeah, the power of spite. Yeah, they ca yeah, they cancelled it the spite in Afune, exactly. What I've said. David knows, damn right. I wanna play Strangers apparently. Yeah, fire down my backlog. Yeah, main character looks way too generic. I think I would like Strangers of Paradise if I had like two people to play it with consistently. Cause the AI in that game isn't the greatest. Pretty sure I got the Platinum in it, though. Thing. I didn't do all the DLC, though. I got fed up with it after a while. Like, I don't need to force myself to play this. Just stop. Hey, wanna w Yeah, no worries, Ugly tw uh, Douglas 20k. I get it if you're busy. Gotta get, your gotta get that stuff done. Appreciate you popping in when you can, though. Yeah, the power of spite. I mean, I have heard that Inafune was, like, hard to work with and stuff, so, like, I don't know. And that he wasn't, you know, he, he wasn't, like, the father of Mega Man. He was sort of, like, Mega Man's adopted father. I forget the gentleman who's credited with actually creating Mega Man. But, like, something happened and he had to leave the project for, like, Mega Man 3, I think. that I want to say that was when Inafune, like, took over as, like, lead. If I remember right. 60 silver points. Huh? Yeah, prepare to high. Yeah, one fit. Yeah, get in the... Get in the table, old fella. But yeah, I guess it's... Like, if you like Neo, I guess Strangers of Paradise is very Neo-like. I haven't played those games, but I guess they're more like that than Dark Souls. Well, Team Ninja, which I guess is the the Neo people worked on. Alpha Rat, how you doing tonight? They're gonna do a Mega Man Game Boy compilation, which I still think they should release. They could do something crazy like Mega Man 1 through 5 on Game Boy, and then give us, you know, Mega Man and Base, which they really don't want to let us play. I mean, we get it for Game Boy Advance, but it's not a good version of the game. Just screen crunch like crazy. Tempted to take that dude's lunch. Oh, I take it every so often. I make a point to take it after the trial. Did like Neo. 
Well, if you like Neo, maybe you'll like Strangers of Paradise more. You'll be more acclimated to its expectations. If it's as close as I'm led to believe. So like this, this dinner? That one? I would never. Okay, after this round of cat food, let's check up on Chrono's cat count. I think we might be able to put this away tonight. At least the main- I still want to do New Game Plus. But... I'd rather start with New Game Plus than it be like an hour and a half into the next stream if I can help it, but we'll see. I mean, I got the long weekend, so I can stay up a bit late. Yeah, Capcom's almost at a Resident Evil Games to remake. <clears throat> Maybe they'll start remaking Mega Man next. Maybe they'll start remaking Resident Evil all over again instead. They'll remake Resident Evil Survivor. Oh, PlayStation Nintendo didn't work. Because of PlayStation wanting more from Nintendo's profits than they're willing to accept. It's kind of funny how Nintendo ended up making, like, their biggest rival that way. But, I mean, maybe it would have been even worse for them if they, if they, like, cut the cord later down the line. I don't know. Played Neo all strung out and couldn't get into it. Eventually played Neo again and got, uh, got my shit together. It's like, yeah, no, it wasn't the drugs. I just hate this game. I mean, yeah, sometimes it's just... You, know, you just can't like a game for whatever reason. It just doesn't click. How many kitties do we have? We still got two. That seems... Doesn't seem right. We got one more. 96 thousand. Yeah, we're bound to get another kitty soon. Maybe I gotta leave and enter a few times. 96. I don't know, we're getting... I don't know, we'll... We'll reassess in another half hour. I thought I was Bowser for a second. I guess it was the spikes. Bam. I did it. I got the right time gate, everybody. 11 cats at 216 ounces. I don't think it works that way. I think once you get whatever amount of cat food you need, I don't know the number, let's say 100 ounces just for an easy number. I think once you get 100 ounces, it resets back to zero. I believe. What's your story? If I remember right. I think we were close to getting, like, another cat there. I want to say it's, like, not quite a hundred. I should just check my own video on the matter. Bradley, no, go back to doom scrolling on YouTube. I'll catch you later. Topcom makes those Mega Man bundles. Yeah, but won't include Legends for some reason. Yeah, even if they never get Legends 3, like, I think... Fans of the Legend series would appreciate getting a bundle. Like, I mean, I would... I would appreciate a bundle. Mega Man Legends 2 at least was very expensive. I don't know if it still is, but I can't imagine the price would go down. Hey, thanks, Ninja. Acid Fruit Loops. 16 ounces to a pound, 20 more for a... Gee, that's math. That's mathematic. 
I mean, most deaf said so. It's gotta be true. Yeah, no, it's fine, Ninja. No worries. <clears throat> no worries at all. Yeah, you can probably see why not a lot of people do this. <clears throat> it takes a few minutes. Hey, Majub, welcome back. How you doing tonight? Vicky Cordyceps, I bet. On your own toxic Cordyceps gas. Took some ooh, your mushrooms on top of mushrooms. Hey, the 313, how you doing? Oh yeah, I think you should definitely play Chrono Trigger. This is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I would recommend it highly. How you doing, anime girl? <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, right now we're beating up this robot a lot to get uh, silver points. We're trying to convert it into cat food for Chrono's cat. Well, cats. He gets more and more cats. He can get up to 11 cats for Chrono. Sly Cooper, welcome back. Doing alright, anime girl. But yeah, as a guy that's dressed like the main character in this game, I would highly recommend it. Yeah, cat food farming, exactly. Zachary. It would probably be faster if I counted, like, up to at least 160 silver points per trip. It would probably be the most time efficient. This is still going to take hours, though. This is probably the fastest way to get points. The most hands-off way would probably, probably be Turbo Controller with the soda guzzling. I also don't need to talk to this guy every time, but I like to, so I know how many silver points I have. And again, I'm pretty sure you can only have 200 at a time, so which is annoying. On its own. Any modern RPGs I'm interested in? Well, like, uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, I I was playing that. I play. I don't know. I have like seventy hours of gameplay in it. It's just, it's just so big. It's so big, and this vertical live stream thing happens. So like. And I knew Final Fantasy Rebirth was coming out, so it just sort of slipped through the cracks. I do have to finish it sometime. It's not that I didn't like it. I have my critiques about it, but, like, I was still enjoying myself with it. Like, as far as modern RPGs go, I, you know, I'm looking forward to Aiden Chronicles, the Suikoden successing. Outside of that, you know, like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, but that, you know, that's like a remake. Hey, no worries, Majub. Welcome back. Doing it. Nice. We have zero, correct? Yes situation here in 20 minutes. 
I need to just try to do this as efficiently as I can. Which we kind of are. This is about as efficiently as it can be done. Yeah, I eat. Yeah, same difference. I eat. I've heard uh, Bioshock is good. I've never played them, though. Pretty sure I have Bioshock here, though. I don't really quite fully consider them RPGs, but like the Nier games, Nier Automata and Nier Replicant. Like, they're fairly action-y, but, like, they're really good. I'd rather have, like, a new, like, AAA near-styled game. I would love to see that. That'd be kind of hard to pull off with the way that the story's gone down, but, like... I don't know, they could figure it out, I'm sure. Have it take place before Drakengard or something, I don't know. Yeah, limit is 200. Thanks for double-checking, Link, too. Oh, yeah, played Nier Automa. Yeah, Nier Automata, all of them. Automata, Replicant, I also played Gestalt or whatever, like the PS3 one with Papa Nier and the remake of Replicant with the uh, Brother Nier. I played those back-to-back. -back. I got the Platinums back-to-back. -back. I played Replicant, got the Platinum, then I immediately played Nier on PS3 and got the Platinum in the... Which is pretty tedious, but the game is so good that, like, I really didn't mind. Like, I, I was griping a little bit, but, like, compared to something like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I, I was barely complaining. Such a good, such good games if you haven't tried them yet. If you have any uh, adoration for, like, an action RPG at all, you, and you haven't played the Nier games, you really ought to. Soundtrack is, like, amazing. Probably top five game soundtrack, just period. They have such good music. I think I'll hop off for now. Phone's low battery. Hey, no worries, like of you. Hope you get to see a finale. Yeah, definitely not selling, gang. Yeah, assuming Queen and Magus fight will be tomorrow. I might polish this off tonight for, like, the main game. Monday, though, I'm gonna get back to it on, like, New Game Plus. Friday, I'm probably going to do Delta Traveler, a fan game of Delta Rune. I don't know how many up the Tales of games in a while. I got the plats, yeah, and when 2P was shown. Yeah. Yeah, loved it, yeah. W soundtrack, story, etc. Yeah, it's like a great package. Automata is the only time I've ever seen an actually censored line. Think about how much you want to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 2B, aren't you? Yeah, and there's technically no actual answer. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I've kind of ignored the Tales of... Ser well, I played Tales of Destiny 2 years ago, and I liked it a lot. Then... <clears throat> I've also played Tales of Legendia. And I played, like, I don't know, a quarter of the way through Tales of Symphonia... I was liking it, but then I moved, and it just, any time I move in the middle of a playthrough of any game, it just ruins that playthrough. And I played a little bit of Tales of the Abyss, but I couldn't get into it at the time. I tried to play it when I just, I wasn't really playing games. Symphonia was good from what I played of it. It's multiplayer, too, I believe. Or at least two-player. Which should be a thing in every RPG, and is... It's in more RPGs than you would probably realize at first, but it's... It should be very commonplace. To have two-player... Uh, ...options for RPGs. Like, I got three party members here. Why can't I hook up a multi-tap and use three... Have... Play with three players. At least in battle. 
Especially for something that's ATV. Extra because of the way this game's, uh, you know, like, screen works out. Because you could have three people doing stuff at the same time. It'd be hard, actually. Once you open the tech menu, it would get messy, but... So never mind. Damn, perfect. Perfect. You win. I found Legendia was padded. If I remember right, the game could... Legendia could have ended, like, halfway through, and it would have been fairly satisfying. I did really enjoy the playthrough, though, when I did it. I just thought the second half of the game got a little long in the tooth. Oh, yeah, get, like, a little bit of the word right. And I heard was that the new one, Tales of Arise, is really good. It's, like, one of the best ones ever, from what I gather. I'd like to play Tales of Destiny 2 again on PS1. But, like, I played Star Ocean 2, which plays sort of similarly. I like that game a lot. I just played the remaster of that recently. I also played Star Ocean 1 after. That was actually pretty good. It was like the remake of one that looked like Star Ocean 2's graphics on PS1. It was a good game. Bit of a pain in the arse to get a platinum trophy in it, but good game. Valkyrie collab? But star um like Valkyrie profile. The same team made the two games, I think. Hey, R. Fleming. What am I gonna play once I'm done with Chrono Trigger? I'm gonna pick up uh Final Fantasy VII on PS1 again. I'm like in the middle of a playthrough of that. After that, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. Which is how I like to do. But I eat in Chronicles. In addition, I eat in Chronicles. We'll mention the Black Omen if you defeat it in that time. They do before you mention it. Like, if you talk to your mother, she's like, Oh my, the Black Omen's sparkling in the sky. But, like, I'm not sure about... After you destroy it. Internet? Do your job. Interwebs. Yeah, no problem, R. Fleming. If left to my own devices, I kind of like to only know, like, a, ga a game, maybe two, in advance. I find if I have too much planned out in advance, I get almost, like, claustrophobic. With, like, my game selections. I like to be a little more flexible than, like, Oh, I got the next seven months of streams booked up. It just kind of chokes me creatively a little bit. If that makes any sense. I like to be a little more ADD with my game choice than to... Have my schedule penciled out for, like, seven months. Which, I mean, for what it's worth, these vertical live streams did. Like, oh, well, I'm just gonna play all my favorite games again. Instead of what I was going to do. I'm not sure right now, R. Fleming. I'm gonna check in ten minutes to see how many cats I have. Last time I checked, we had six, I believe. If we have, like, nine... Next time we go, I might just see this through tonight. Then then do the third Black Omen run and uh finalia. What am I doing? Why did I do that? This isn't efficient. 
Five. Well, we have a little ways to go. Yeah, like, I guess I just feel less, it feels less like work to me if I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to play this now. If I'm more, uh, you know, whimsical, I guess, with my selections. And, like, sometimes I'll say I want to play a game, but then, like, by the time I get to it, I'm like, I don't want to play this anymore. The f you know, that fleeting feeling has passed. Collabs of Seven Deadly Sins? I don't believe so. JP Flock. Uh, Altered Beast. That was a Genesis game, wasn't it? it? Starts out with, like, this... Well, I think, like, Greek background. It's a game I'm thinking of. I've played it a little bit, but I'm not, like, a... Like a fan of it, really. Valkyrie and Freya are number ones. Green is a sacrifice as well. Oh yeah, I'm definitely playing Aiden Chronicles. That's getting the widescreen treatment, Atari DC. I have to play that. Especially now that we've lost Muriyama, like the brainchild behind the whole thing. I extra have to play it now. I actually have access to the beta of that game. I should play that tomorrow. When I have free time, I should play a bit of Iodin Chronicles. Just by myself. Get a feel for it. Although maybe if I play the beta, it'll ruin it for me. I don't know, we'll see. Hey, Atari DC, yeah, yeah. Said you're definitely playing Iodin. Yes, definitely. But hey, thank you for the super chat as well, Atari. Yeah, just remember why, yeah. You know, the wise from the grave. Oh, from Altered Beast? Yeah, a Genesis launch title and arcade game. But yeah, there's nothing. I'm playing Night in Chronicles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I was doing with Final Fantasy at first, and I'm gonna, well, I guess I'll do it differently now. I'll start with Night in Chronicles widescreen, then I'll switch over to playing like Suikoden One, and then when I beat that, I'll play Suikoden Two, and then I'll probably, game will probably be done. I don't expect Night in Chronicles to be like an insanely long game. I figure 50 hours, like, it'll be beaten. Whether I get a platinum trophy or whatever is another issue, but... Yeah, the dedication you're doing with streaming, yeah. Play out your feeling, yeah, totally. Make for better streams. Right, right. I mean, there's a time and a place for, like, blind streams, like, where you... I don't know what's going on, but, like, I think it makes for a better video, especially in, like, this this format. If I know what I'm talking about a bit more. That and, like, what I found out with Amori was, like... Granted, there was a few things that people didn't spoil for me, which I appreciate, but, like... And I also knew some stuff going into it, but, like, oh my god. So much stuff got, like... People couldn't help themselves. Uh, with certain spoilers. There was one spoiler, though, in particular, that wasn't really spoiled for me that I appreciate a lot. Because, like, I had no idea it was even in Amori, and then I did that part, and I'm like, that was crazy. And I was glad I didn't know about it in advance. Like, crazy in a good way. Like, there was, like, kind of, like... <clears throat> There's, like, kind of mentions to it, but, like, nothing that I consider to spoil. In any case. Yeah, JPA, we're shooting for the kitties right now. In five minutes, I'm gonna check up on the cats, see how many more are in Chrono's house. 60 silver points, uh, no. But yeah, you can do this at the very beginning of the game if you want. You don't have to, like wait till a certain part of the story. If you want 11 cats at the beginning of the game, you can. Yeah, I don't care about spoilers, but I know not to spoil. Right, yeah, these guys get so excited. And I mean, like, the game... Amori's also four years old, so, like... <clears throat> like, if a game just was released, I have a bit more of an issue with it. And I guess it annoys me to some degree. It's like, okay, I'm actively playing this game and haven't played it before. Like, could you hold back a little bit? 
But I mean, again, once the game's like so many years old, it's like... It's not their fault that I waited four years to play a game. Like, how long are they supposed to... You got all this crazy stuff that happens in the game, and I'm expecting everyone to, like, not talk about it at all. Like, there's a lot. Right, and yeah, I'm gonna rewatch some videos on it. Oh, yeah, it's the, um... It's like a spiritual successor to Suikoden. I, I have big hopes for it. I'm gonna be devastated if I don't like it. I really can't see how I wouldn't like it. Ah, uh, but we'll find out, I guess, if I don't. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, if you're a streamer, people should just assume, yeah, it might be a first playthrough. But, I mean, I do have people ask me if it's okay to spoil and stuff, which I appreciate. But, I mean, other people are just so excited, they're like, oh my god, you're playing my favorite game right now. No one ever streams this. Because I got that a lot when I was streaming Amori. It's like, oh my god, nobody plays this game anymore. So I can understand why they'd be, like, bursting at the seams to, like, talk about it. I still have another, like, I beat Amori, but there's, like, a second... Like, um, there's, like, an alternate path you can take, where there's, like, different content and stuff. Which I really should get back to and play at some point, but I need to do some other stuff first. I need to palate cleanse a little bit, I think. Because the game just sort of breeds, like, a certain... It's not the most feel-good game on Earth. And it sort of breeds a certain mindset, and it can be... It can just be a lot to process. Oh, Pizza Tower. I wouldn't, like... You'd be hard-pressed to spoil Pizza Tower, I would think. Like, I don't think there'd really be a... I assume there isn't really, like... A story spoiler that I'd be like, why'd you tell me that? Amir, how do I not recommend or block your channel? You can block my channel, I'm pretty sure, if you go to the top... There's, like, three dots on the top right of the screen. I think if you click the game has P KJ, how could you spoil such a well-kept secret like that in Pizza Tower? Yeah, Pizza. I figure Pizza Tower has about as much story as like your average Mario game. Oh man, I'm trolling. It's all good. It's all good. I, I no offense, Amir. None taken at all. But I mean, like, if someone does come through here and doesn't want my videos showing up, it's like, well, I don't... I don't want to be pestering you either, so. Damn it, Kodo, I forgot to scan again. Shit. Oh, is it made as game in Game Maker? Pizza Tower? I guess it's like a fairly versatile program, depending on what you're looking for. Main villain is a pizza, I see. And it's their tower. Pizza tower has Rugrats rug music. Odd. <laughs> or it just sounds like Rugrats music, I assume. OMG, man. For sanity, what's happening? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Use the same engine as Undertale. Maybe I shouldn't call him. I mean, pick up the receiver. He'll make you a believer. Reach out and touch Faith. Oh, the vo oh the vocal keyboard sounds. Okay. Feeling alone. What was it? Why can't I remember the lyrics of Personal Jesus right now? I'm, I'm offended on my, by myself. Feeling alone. Pick up the phone when you're all alone. Flesh and bone by the telephone. 
Pick up the receiver. I'll make you a believer. I think that's the line. I think I'm. I think I'm off a little bit. I went and saw Depeche Mode back in November. I haven't been listening to their stuff lately, though. I used to listen to them all the time. Yeah, Kodo knows. Remember the 90s? Yeah, there's so many yeah, animal-human cartoons. Yeah, all over the place. Street Sharks. Yeah, someone who hears your prayers. Yeah, someone who cares. <laughs> Got two more. It doesn't seem right to me. I should be getting more cats. One, two. Well, I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five. Forty ounces of cat food. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I shouldn't be leaving at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? These. Just seemed like we got a couple of cats really quickly, and then it just. I'm. I'm looking at my own video on this. Looking at my own short. I might cut this into a different episode after all. I don't know why I got so many cats so quickly. One second. I'm bringing up my own video. Assuming I knew what I was talking about then. Mega Harv Chrono Trigger Cat. Yeah, cat collecting good. In Chrono Trigger for Super Nintendo, have you ever gotten all of the cats you're able to collect? Well, if you want 11 cats and zero litter boxes like I have, I'll show you how to do it. There's a few different ways you can accumulate silver points, whichever is easier for you. You can either get drunk at the fair for five silver points, or beat up the karaoke robot Gato for 15 silver points. Once you've collected 80 silver points, just go ahead and play this mini game. And if you do, the first step is complete. You have one more cat. Now from here, if you want to get additional cats, I would recommend continuing to play the 80 silver point game. The next step is be patient and don't actually leave the Millennial Fair if you can, at least through this entrance. Every time you do, it'll actually lower your cat food count. They do want to clear up a myth that says that you can't collect all the cats if you're late enough in the game. That is untrue. The first time I did it was at the very end of the game. You may be wondering what the point of collecting all of these cats are. Well, it's just the satisfaction of giving all these nice cats a good home. And that's the perfect reason, isn't it? I could have been a little more uh, descriptive than that. Unless I put it in the description. Description. Okay, so for A. Okay, I did write. Okay, okay, okay. Most. Alright, so when you play the 80 silver point game, you get roughly 25 ounces of cat food per game. I guess it fluctuates a bit. Threshold for gaining a new cat varies depending on how far along you are in the collection. But after a while, you're guaranteed a cat for every 200 ounces of cat food. You don't even have to leave the fair if you don't want to learn all the cats of one trip if you're patient. Okay. So, like, we're probably at a point now where we need to do... Okay, so let's do this math here. I might want to save this for another episode. Because, like, I don't really want to be up until, like, 9 in the morning doing this. So we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have 40 ounces of cat food, so 50, 100. Six. So 480 mo this is gonna take forever. Yeah, this might be a I'll stay up a bit later and grind this a little bit, but I think I am gonna. Not uh, see this through tonight. It's gonna take a long time. Long time. But then we can get into some new Game Plus stuff next time, Monday. Hey, Hyper Turboed Chrono's mom last night. Nice. Yeah, do it in the next stream.
Yeah, referring to my own video. I do that every so often. I'm like, I don't remember this thing anymore. It's kind of funny since I started YouTube, because, like, I would remember stuff about games, but, like, once I've made YouTube videos about some of these games, I'm like, well, my knowledge is in this video now, so I don't need to, like, remember it. So, like, I think in a way, YouTube's, like, made me dumber. It's like, yeah, I can refer to my videos, but, like, I don't remember stuff like I used to. But, yeah, we're around at a point where it's, uh, 200 cat foods per... So, yeah, that's gonna take a while, still. So. so, yeah, we went from 2555 to... Yeah, that was almost two hours of grinding. It'll be at least another two. And we'll do it in, like, four hours, probably. I don't know, it might not be an insanely overly long stream. Around 80 cycles of the 80 point game, yeah, per cat. Yeah, roughly. And if we have seven cats, we need five more, so... Approximately 40 more cycles. So yeah, it's gonna take a minute. Oh, right on, Never Let Me Down Again, your favorite Depeche Mode song. When I say my favorite Depeche Mode song, I always say that it's like... It's a bit of a cop-out answer, but I feel you on Sounds of Faith and Devotion, but into walking in my shoes. Like, listening to those songs back to back. Uh, but I really like Stripped as well. There's, they have so many songs that I like. Like, if you had their greatest hits album that was like a red and blue... Had like red and blue CDs. So many good songs. Only when I lose myself. The song Rush, also on Songs of Face and Devotion, I feel like is an underrated track by them. Also, if you've never listened to Depeche Mode B-side songs, you should. They have surprisingly good B-sides. They just don't fit into certain albums, but like a standalone songs, they're excellent. And if you haven't heard them, you should look for Depeche Mode B-sides. Oh, first big single compilation. Also had one of my favorite Dark Horse sequels. Oh, Shake the Disease. Dark Horse singles, yeah, Shake the Disease. I like the Black Celebration album, too. I mean, I like a lot. Like, I'm hard-pressed to... I think a lot of their stuff is really good. Clean. I even like Sounds of the Universe, which a lot of people didn't like. I haven't listened to it recently. I, I, I have nostalgia for it. I just kind of have, like, sort of mental bookmarks when certain Depeche Mode songs, or, uh, albums came out, like Praying the Angel, that came out when I was going to university and I was driving up to a nearby, a nearby town to, like, visit my friends and my girlfriend at the time. It's the way for school. In Sounds of the Universe, I was working, um, it was right before I moved away for wrestling. And I lived in a basement apartment. I'm trying to remember what happened out, I'm trying to, oh, Delta Machine. Yeah, Delta Machine, then I think it was Spirit, then, uh, the most recent one, Memento Mori. DFF, DNF Bros, welcome to the chat. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I had a Guardian Force back in the day when I was like 19. Bobby Bob, how you doing? Looking schmexy, thank you. The game quality became lower. I didn't believe so. You mean like visually? I'll be heading out. Alright, Azenius, thanks for stopping in. Pink Floyd's really good. I used to listen to them a lot. Opinion on some of the newer games. I'm, like... I kind of check out with newer games a little bit, but, like... If you give me something that's... RPG-like, I'm more, uh... More inclined to try it. I'm not, like, huge into shooters, but I like Resident Evil. I mean, a first girlfriend at the time, you know, learning experience. I shouldn't have tried to do the long-distance relationship thing myself, but, like, 
you know, live and learn. Oh, from the comments above. Oh. Oh, from newer games. You think game quality become lower? Okay. No, I don't really, like, I haven't played enough Call of Duty stuff like that to really have an opinion on if, like, Call of Duty games are getting worse. What's up, Cookie? Yeah, preferably one with card refining ability, definitely. Indubitably. New Order. Uh, Talking Heads, I don't know the name. Like, I don't know anything they've done off the top of my head. New Order, I've definitely heard that name. New Order wasn't the band that Gwen Stefani started in, was it? Was that No Doubt? What was that band called? For the most part, I'm really bad with, like, um... Song names. Or, like, what band does what song. But if I hear it, I'm like, oh, this song. No Doubt, okay. New Order, oh, it was Joy Division. Okay, after, okay. After Ian Curtis died. Gotcha. Yeah, I spent most of my- like, I didn't really listen to music until, like, I graduated high school. And even then, I, like, I glommed onto Pink Floyd pretty hard. Then I got into Depeche Mode, then I got into Ramstein. And I didn't really listen to a lot outside of that, like, when Guitar Hero Metallica came out, I got into Guitar- er, uh, Metallica. I liked, um... Dream Theater. I like Dream Theater a lot. I don't- I haven't listened to them in a while, but, like, great band. Uh, Tool. I like Tool. I haven't really, like... I listened to the, What their newest album was. It came out a few years ago now. It- I it did not click with me for some reason. Maybe I wasn't on enough drugs, but, like, it just didn't... It just didn't really, like, penetrate my skull. But, I mean, they got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, Dream Theater. Yeah, Spiderwebs, by no doubt, was a banger. Yeah, Slow Ride, that was Fog Hat, I believe. Guitar Hero 3, wasn't it? It's our first song in Guitar Hero 3. I was so into Guitar Hero. I played so much Guitar Hero, I made other people sick of Guitar Hero. Yeah, I listened to Systematic Chaos a lot from Dream Theater. But yeah, then I would do, like, the- I would try to branch out a little bit, because, like, I listened to a bit of Stevie Ray Vaughan for a bit. Ooh, he rips a mean guitar. Uh, but I didn't, like, stay listening for some reason. Um... I listened to a Ghost album. I forget which album. But I was like, I'm gonna go to the music store, I'm gonna get a CD. And I'm gonna get the CD where I just like the artwork on the cover. And it was whatever al that Ghost album was. I can't remember the name of it right now. But I liked it. I had a Primus CD that I was into for a while. I forget which one it was. It had Jerry was a race car driver, I think. Was it Tommy the Cat? Primus is a bit of an acquired taste. Yeah, I always eat that fool's lunch, yeah, after the trial. How long did I play Guitar Hero? I- I was kinda on the ground floor with it. Like, I went to someone's house, and like, played Guitar Hero 1. And then, like, I then and went and showed Guitar Hero to like, everyone I knew. And got like, all my friends addicted to it. So, like, I've been playing it since Guitar Hero 1, then... Sometime after Guitar Hero Metallica, I started to get out of it. I think it was, like, when Van Halen came out, or, like... Guitar Hero Smash Hits. That was around when I started to check out. 
I just kind of hit a point with Guitar Hero where I would either five star a song immediately, or I would be struggling to beat a song on expert. Five star a song immediately, or I would be struggling to beat a song for like weeks. I was just kind of at a weird point with it where I'm like, I'm kind of done. The guitar here is a really good idea, yeah, for the game studio. Always eat that, yeah, this this fool's lunch. Moody Blues cover. Oh, yeah, Pull Me Under, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was in Guitar Hero. That was in World Tour, I think. Two more Gato fights. Then we'll just... And, you know, go back to the cats. James Hartley, this game's called Chrono Trigger for uh, Super Nintendo. I never got, like, huge into Michael Jackson, but, like, he's got a few good songs. Also, like, that... Don't ask me why this reminded me, but, uh... I more remember this when I'm playing Mother 3, but there's, like, a band I'll listen to sometimes called Infected Mushrooms. It's, like, kind of like trance music, but... If you're into that kind of music, they're good. Vicious Delicious album's pretty good. And there's, I think, I Am the Supervisor. Can I get a taxi number? Yeah, Infected Mushrooms. Yeah, Coda. Done like a... a chicken dinner. Cheers, looks interesting. Yeah, do it up, James. It's a great game. One of my all-time favorites. Like, top three without question. Yeah, Vicious Delicious, yeah. Michael Lockin, yeah. Vicious Delicious is the best. There's one song in that game. It came out after Mother 3 came out, but, like... I think it's Going Insane on that album. I think it's the song Going Insane. It sounds an awful lot like music that plays during the Natural Killer Cyborg. I guess that's how I got onto it. Because the Natural Killer Cyborg's music in Mother 3 was based, like, it has a, you know, like a riff from Just Beat It by Michael Jackson. Uh, but it also really sounds like a part that's in that song, Going Insane by Infected Mushrooms. At the time when I made the video, I thought Infected Mushrooms came out first with the song, but I was, I was incorrect. It was like, I don't know, maybe, maybe they were a fan of Mother 3, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Same thing with my friend, he found a game on Steam. Oh, he's playing it a lot, only thing I see on Steam is a lot of notification. <laughs> my friend plays that game. You're like, you couldn't pay me to play this game, no? Yeah, Earthbound music, yeah, peak Mother music for me. Hey, Earthbound has a great soundtrack. It's almost, like, underrated by me. Like, for how much I like Earthbound, when people ask me about my favorite soundtracks, I barely, I would rarely ever bring up Earthbound. It's got good music, it's just like, I don't know. What my problem is. Wait, don't, can I do this one more time? Noah, where? How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Yeah, we'll do two more Gato fights and check the cats out again. Because, like, I really like Kraken of the Sea, Pokey Means Business. Lots of music is, like, very pleasant. I don't really have songs in Earthbound I dislike. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think a lot of Earthbound music might just complement the situation really well, but doesn't, like, I don't know. I don't even think it's really a problem with Earthbound or its music. Because it's one of the first games I ever played that had, like, multiple battle musics, and that was, like, genius to do that. But, like, maybe I'll go through a renaissance like I did with Breath of Fire 3. Because for years, I'm like, yeah, Breath of Fire 3's soundtrack, it's okay. It's like elevator music, it's fine. Then I watch, like, a YouTuber buddy, StuTube, play it. Then I'm like, this music is so good. What was wrong with me? It's kind of funny how your tastes can change. Right from being mid on the music to like, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm now one with the universe after having listened to the soundtrack. 
Like, more specifically, Junktown in Breath of Fire 3. I love that song. It's, like, one of my favorite, like, video game songs, though. I just resonate with it hard. Modern Warfare 2? I forget. Not the new one. Oh, yeah, Becoming Insane. Yeah, but Infected Mush. Yeah, wake me up. Yeah, before I change. Yeah, okay. I, I can't sing it, but yeah. Or I change again. Yeah, the 8 Melody song that's sung by the choir. Oh, yeah. Gets me in the feels. Oh, yeah, there's some emotionally charged music. Even, like, the ending walkabout music in Earthbound. That song's got some feel into it. And, like, the credits music. Oh. Getting goosebumps just thinking about it. LTF 16, how you doing? Rage, how are you? Jumping in late. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just getting... I'm just about getting ready to sign off here. Because I was thinking about putting in some extra time and getting all 11 cats and doing the Black Omen again, but that's going to take me like four more hours. And I'm just not willing to stay up till like nine in the morning to do that. Uh, but we can pick this up and do that again on Monday. Because I'm going to play Delta Traveler on Friday and probably Saturday. I don't know, it'll play Sunday. Surprise game, maybe. Yeah, good music is good music. Totally. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, depends how you listen to the music. Yeah, old CRTVs only supported mono audio. They don't get much higher quality stereo music. Yeah, and if you listen to an album that was made with, like, you know... Say, like, the, the music was made with... Like, vinyl in mind. Like, it'll sound better if you listen to it on vinyl, and like, so on and so forth. If you're taking advantage of like, a specific format. If you're listening to it on whatever it's made for, it will it will just sound better. Yeah, how many cats do we have now? We got... Maybe still seven. Got the black kitty? Yeah. Still got seven kitties. 102 ounces of cat food, though. But yeah, this is gonna take uh, gonna take a little while yet. Yeah, Mega Man Legends surprise Sunday. That would be a surprise. It's funny that I'm not playing this game of all games over Easter. It's like oddly appropriate. Let's save it and yes, save it and then also save it. But yeah, like, next time with Chrono Trigger, we're gonna get the rest of the 11 cats, however long that takes. Then we're gonna go through the Black Omen again. Uh, I forget if there's anything else I didn't do that I meant to. Uh, but then we'll beat the game, and depending how much time's left, maybe I'll do another ending, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow the plan for Friday... So yeah, if you're interested in Chrono Trigger, I'll probably play it again on Monday. So if that's all you're interested in, I'll see you on Monday. Tomorrow I plan on playing a Deltarune fan game uh, called Delta Traveler. Unless that just doesn't work for some reason, I might play Chrono Trigger, but like I'll probably get it to work. Uh, but that's all, that's what I'm up to. So yeah, if you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. And if I ever do, then YouTube might actually tell you when I'm live and stuff. Or you could at least look in the subs feed to see if I'm live, because I stream a lot. Just because YouTube doesn't tell you that I'm live doesn't mean I might not be, so. Yeah, like and subscribe and stuff. I'll, uh, I'll catch y'all later, folks. Don't forget the lard. And, uh, hope to see you soon. So have a, have a happy Easter, either way.